All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's presentation of the SMZ3 SG Live tournament. I am Apathy Duck, and I'm joined today by Ace. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you, Duck? I'm good. We got a we got a real good matchup today. Uh, we got Andy versus Solsky, uh, two of the the top competitors in this, meeting a little bit early uh, in the round of 16 here. Um, so it should be a really fun one. Andy actually had a or Andy went through. Uh, Andy and Solsky both went through one match to get here. Uh, I believe Andy took his groups uh, four zero. Solsky went three one in groups. Uh, so uh, Solsky a little bit underseated in this. So he's uh, this whole half of the bracket honestly has got a lot of really tough competitors on it. Uh, I know you were on it on our half too. It's got me, you, Aussie, Solsky, Andy, uh, Polar Bear Bunny was there. MM two like it was just a complete murder's row on on our half. So. It's going to be quite the fight to get out uh, to the the top four or uh, top you know top two matches here. So this should be a real fun one. Yeah, absolutely. To win, you got to either probably beat Aussie or the guy that beat Aussie in groups. <laughs> yeah, uh, the winner of this will be playing me um, after this, and then uh, going on to the winner of the Aussie and uh, Bressingham match, I believe. So, like I said, oh, Bress, Bress is on our half too. I forgot. There's just so many good people yeah. on this half of the bracket. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, so, anyways, getting started here. Both going to length of pass as a standard. Uh, not too many people in the solo matches really go to the SM checks. Um, you know, there can be some benefits to doing it. There's uh, generally you're not going to do it until very last. Uh, so, and it's only like you know, like thirty to forty seconds for those two checks. So, although only one's a logic in normal mode, but it could give you some benefits. Uh, if you do get something there, you might be able to get it very early. Uh, that being said, even if there is something there, it's not necessarily a guarantee to need it early. We do have a map check already. I look like Green Pendant Eastern and Pendant Hera, and I believe uh, Red Crystal Desert? Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I saw too. Yep. Yeah, a lot of information on just uh, uh, on the those three. Nice rupees already too here. So this, uh, this early uncle route, doing that tree pole is uh, working out already nice that uh kind of good to even things up that both the runners got the same tree pole sometimes it's unfortunate if one person takes a hit on accident and gets garbage <laughs> uh, and is a little bit behind from the start because of that but it's really nice to be able to buy bombs in kakariko or potentially go to buy bombs and check saha or maybe even eastern early since it's yeah. a Chris, you don't worry as much about double dipping. Andy is coming out. He has got no bombs here. I guess he's going for the second triple here. Does get oh, four wow. bombs. It's not enough to do all of front of escape. I mean, he can pull it again and then do front of escape. Yeah. Looks like Pretty... it's pretty going. I kind of like this. Yeah, I mean, the benefit to coming here or doing this early is that you're saving yourself the trick, the trek, uh, trip back. But, you know, the trip back isn't really all that long. And he's definitely spent... Oh, there's the fifth bomb, too. Uh, the trip trip back isn't that long, so like, you could just do it later. You're gonna have really good access, probably with glove later, anyways. Um, and then like you could potentially get a read like it, on the early half of the dungeon if there's only two items up here. That and like if the key's not in this first chest, then only then that's literally the only chest that's in logic. Um, and, and the the logic would require you to either have glove or lamp to go further. So. I think there's a lot of like informational benefits to doing it later, but um, you know, Andy could certainly get a you know decent advantage here if he does spike something. Uh, Escape is also one of those things that if the seed is pretty generous, uh, Solsky may not even come here for for quite some time. Does get the supers? Uh, apparently, I didn't even realize this, but um, change made kind of a while ago too. But uh, there's guaranteed to be one super and one uh, power bomb pack in Sphere Zero, so that could be the only supers. We'll keep an eye on Solsky's side. Yeah, that's it's really rare that it happens, especially with super missiles. Uh, power bombs can be a little tighter, but well, well there there's other super, there's supers so already. So that's one potential advantage for Andy Gone. Uh, you do want those supers. Um, generally, the number you're looking for early is thirty, and then uh, for that's pretty much a, a Ridley kill. You obviously can use your missiles and uh, PBs to do it as well. Thirty is actual logical access. Uh, so that's the first number you're looking for. The second is kind of like 60. If you never find charge, you want to do uh, Mother Brain ammo. 
But uh, for these solo matches, it's more of an issue in co-op, making sure you can balance your ammo. But in solo matches, you're generally going to have enough for Mother Brain. It's not too much of a concern, unless it's a very jet seed. Yeah, we'll see if uh, Andy sets up for the Death Warp here to go to Dark Cross, or if he decides to put that off. Yeah, uh, put it. it's pretty hard to do it without anything. Solsky does get yeah. the sword, another reason to put off that Eastern, so, or escape. Um, I didn't, was was that only two or three items? I think it was three, yeah. There was a red, uh, red rupee in the um, the second chest. So there's three in the front, that means even Solsky mm -hmm. does the back, and maybe does like a Dark Cross with that sword. Um you know, he's going to be a little bit more incentivized to do the front of escape. So even though it didn't pay off for Andy, uh, I wouldn't be shocked to see Solsky do it at some point just because it's going to be uh, fairly front loaded. Yeah, probably the best case for Andy at this point is to have the, the map in Dark Cross and then Solsky goes through there backwards and finds nothing and Andy to skip it, maybe. Yeah, map or, or key. Right. Well, I mean, if it's the key, Solsky won't be getting that either. So it won't be a. Right, yeah, different yeah, yeah, time. Oh, <laughs> we got a we got a nice bomb seed today. That uh, yeah, bombs uh, bombs in the crab is actually really valuable information because a lot of times you're putting off um, mini moldorn cave until you have enough bombs. But there's the bomb crab right, or there's the, the bush crab right along there, so you can kind of just if the, uh, bush crab has bombs, uh, that's not really a concern for you. You wanna you wanna make a prop bet here before how long it takes uh, for Solsky to finish his massive drink he's got going on over there? Uh, Solsky, Solsky is Canadian. That is a that is American sized right there. <laughs> Who knows? He might finish it off and pour another one in there from his fridge without us even noticing. Yeah, I mean you gotta. It's a you know these seem like three hour matches. You gotta. You gotta manage your bladder ammo too. That's didn't look like much else in Kakariko apart from that blind set. Uh, there was a yeah, fire rod. I was kind of a more paying attention to the a wave beam. It's all red. Oh, okay. Wave on the library. Yeah, yeah, the fire rod was next to the sword and blind set. Yeah, fire rod and sword. That's really nice. I mean, that's pretty much uh, skullwood access right away. One of the big uh, questions a lot of runners have a lot of times is, should I do the skullwoods early? That's already skullwoods access. Um, obviously, it could still be a pendant, although we only have one dark world pendant, so it's unlikely. Uh, one in seven chance, basically. Uh, so that kind of takes that. You know, th that could be. You know, th these guys are really evenly matched. It just gets kind of come down to decision. So it just takes one of the decision points away, and and neither one is really going to be scared to do. Uh, moth with a, a fighter sword early on. Absolutely. Uh, speaking of decisions, I really like this decision from Solsky to go to Eastern here at this point. He's really close to Zoro money, but doesn't have the 500 quite yet. He had it and spent 100 on Bottle Vendor to get some, some junk there. So probably doing this, trying to scoop up a few more rupees by a little bit more time. Make sure he can do Ice Rod Cave into maybe Zora. Yeah, I don't know if Solsky... Afterwards. This makes a lot of sense, assuming Solsky did the map check. I don't know if he just forgot Eastern was the green pendant, so I'll talk to Sasha. Um, like, if, if Eastern's the, the pend a pendant, you're a lot more likely just to go ahead and do it early, because it's less likely you need to come back. Mm -hmm. uh, green pendant's sort of that weird mid-case, where it's like, it's an extra item, and then especially if there's an item on Armos, that's basically two items for the Armos kill. Do you want to do it early or save it to later? Um, so, but yeah, I, I, don't, I don't mind this. Uh, Eastern's done a lot in Sphere Zero. Um, you know, the worst case scenario generally is for like something that's like only like minor locking, like red cane or medallion or something that really doesn't lock off a lot of progression besides like, you know, we got last crystal dungeon because those can always be a nightmare to hunt down. So, uh, if Solskin can find something like that in here, uh, that could be a really big advantage, assuming, uh, Andy is able to avoid it. Well, yeah, we did get the, the cape, too. Uh, there's not a space on our tracker for that, unfortunately. So we'll have to just keep that in mind, that the runners do have cape when they get to Dark World. Or uh, or to get to Dark World. It could be their, their logical Dark World access. Hey, I mean, they got a fire source and a sword and a cape. Yeah, I mean, there's there's so many ways to break uh, SMZ3, as opposed to regular Owing to the Past, with, like, Hell Runs and Suitless Meridia. And stuff. Although Suitless Meridia is slow enough, you might just want to do Aga anyways, but... Um, there's so many ways to like break it that 
it's it's far more likely to be able to break an aga if that is the case uh, here generally the, what happens is when it's an aga seed is like you have like morph and both gloves and hammer all in dark world and like there's just literally nothing you can do about it so uh, but not really a concern until Aga's not in logic until uh, Lamp pops up. Uh, and then also, like, you're not really going to consider doing Aga until you have a, at least Moon Pearl. And then really, like, Hookshot uh, to be able to get the rest of Dark World access. Otherwise, you're just kind of trapped there on the uh, east side. And it's it's really not that great. Yeah, if you have, like, Bow, maybe it's still an option for the pod. But uh, yeah, I had, but a, I had, like, a nasty chain. Rough. In, in one of mine where it was like I had to go over to pod for hook sh or for hook shot to go back over to like oh no it was for screw attack to get hook shot and glove in like pink big pink and then I had to go back to the use town to actually get like mitts it was it was terrible but it can happen but that's that just so rare but mm -hmm. can happen a little bit more in normal mode just because it's uh, a little bit more locking uh, there's less stuff that could possibly be in SM um like you can't do hell runs or anything. So like if, if something was in Norfair, uh, you'd have to have Varia. Uh, Ice Beam does uh, open up some stuff without yeah. uh, Morph Ball. Uh, could open up uh, Upper Norfair with Varia. Could also open up uh, Alpha Power Bombs if we get Death Mountain access. And gives us uh, Ceiling E-Tank in Logic already. That's true. Yeah, I always forget about that one. Yeah. So yeah, so this could be one of the... Give me without it usually, but... Uh... Still knowing if it's in logic or not. That's, that's that's a big trick for some of the players that are more used to hard mode is just getting used to what is and isn't in logic, be able to follow the, that difference for normal. Yeah, it's not even so much detail. hard mode from I, the way I approach SM is so much just like, can I do it or not? And I just don't even worry about the logic because like you can really I, I got I got myself turned upside down one time with like thinking about like because there was something in like aqueduct and i was like oh i have to have flippers for this access because i didn't have anything else and then it was like some very like random thing put it in logic like a grapple or something put it in logic and completely mm -hmm. so yeah a lot of times it's just like can i do it or can i not do it you know and like i mean something like maybe like wreck ship access or like the obvious ones like how running or, or suitless meridia are, are really the only times i think you really think about it uh, things like that that are just like right next to something that's in logic anyways yeah you're just gonna kind of do it but yeah, it does make it more likely that it is something uh, is is the main thing. But I, I I still don't think you're probably going to go there until you have full clear light world at this point. Yeah, as, especially with uh, both of our runners right now have one power bomb pack. Andy got one at Agina that Solsky might not get early, and conversely, Solsky got one in Eastern. Usually, you want to have ten or more power bombs before transitioning to, to SM for the first time. So. Yeah, I mean, I like play. opening Crade. You can do that on five guaranteed. Uh, gives you a chance to get uh, extra power bomb or get you know speed or something uh, for Brinstar. Um, the, like the thing for Brinstar for me, like it's very juicy uh, just because there's so much stuff there. But like, it's actually really slow if you don't have like any sort of decent equipment or even low health. I uh, can really slow you down because there's some pretty big damaging en enemies uh, and like doing some stuff like Gauntlet uh, on low health can be really bad. So yeah. I always like delaying Brinstar. Uh, so especially since you can do Cray on five. So the second you have one power bomb pack. Uh, you can get there, um, and then like you can get your old man access uh, just that save point. There's a lot of benefits of you know it's it's like six or seven items, three in red tower, potentially one in X-ray if you have something to do that, or you know you can do the D boost, uh, spacer, three in crate, three in ice or three in uh, high jump, and then potentially two more that are breakable, uh, crumble tower and uh, ice beam. So you can get a good bit, you know. Um, no, there's the power bomb for yep. Solsky. So I think he's at 10 now, and Andy's only at the 5. Yep, still no way to use them. <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah, it looks like there's there's got to be something in that ceiling. Like, I think we've seen everything. I don't know what's left for these two. I think so. Zor Zora's not in logic without that glove or flippers, even though it looks like Andy's on his way down there right now to do the fake flipper. I imagine Solsky will yeah. do that for the mini Moldorm. It's, uh... This is pretty slow. It's at a lot. You do have the money for it, but like the other thing is you can't get the uh, the waterfall items right now, and you can't also right. you can't also break the ledge. So he's just doing the well, I guess two. But I mean, hobo's slow too. He could just be doing it for hobo and, and calling it there. I, I, I tend to like this play sometimes. The rupees make it kind of awkward because it does incentivize Zora a little bit. But yeah, I feel like never easy to get to. So sometimes no, just I doing mean, it. He's not that. 
if you have flippers, you can just hop. You can just. I mean, he's really by himself, but you just hop out of Link's house and you swim right there, and it's not too bad. You gotta plan your save and quit. It's, it it feels slow. Well, get some master sword. That's one of the best yeah. things he could possibly get. Uh, that's not uh, progression. Well, technically it is progression. Uh, we already had Aga, so that doesn't matter. But it could be access to uh, tablets at some point. Mm -hmm. But you know, we don't have flippers. We don't have a book. That's that's potentially way far away. Right now, it's just going to make him faster having a stronger sword. Oh, he's got the the red boomer. Well, actually, never mind. That doesn't help. No, if, if, yeah, you need also need. You still uh, need the moon pearl. To... Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about for the wedge item. I was but, yeah, thinking yeah. for the uh, the waterfall cave here without the pearl, but uh, that that's a way to help set up the fake flipper, but doesn't let you do the water walk to get the chests. Uh, but Solsky is putting that to use real nicely, though, getting some uh, hearts, making sure he doesn't die on the way over here. Still almost dies, but not quite. Yeah, I think Solsky's just a little bit... No, never mind. He's, he has... Basically, Solsky's done an Eastern, and Andy's done Escape. Uh, so we'll... I kind of expect them to flip-flop here. Uh, I don't think either one is going to beeline that... Um, the... The SM yeah, the items, bridge, but yeah. at this point, it's got to be it's got to be there. So, yeah. And to, uh, to answer a question in chat, the uh, the tracker shows as much as we can with the space that we have. Things that are definitely or most likely required. There's obviously some things that can be required that aren't on there, like maybe the book to get into desert, um, things like that. But generally, what you see on the tracker is what the runners are going to need. And if it's not on the tracker, they probably don't need it, even if it's something really nice. Yeah, I mean, even something like Spring Ball, which isn't in normal logic whatsoever, could be give you your worst room in the game access. I've seen, I know for a fact, I've seen Andy do the uh, high jump plus one. I think I've seen Solsky do it, too. I, I don't remember. Um, but that's, I mean, well, they have, also they both have ice right now anyway, so that's that matters less. Well, they would need charge, though, for yeah. to be able to freeze the, those pirates. Yeah, so Solsky making an interesting play here, sealing the key from the front of Escape to push all the way to the back. Um, obviously, he's going to get the key back from one of these checks, uh, but this is definitely slower. Uh, he, of course, could get something good here, make it really worth it. If, uh, Especially, for example, if Glove is the item that's down in SM that we're looking for, if that's the next progression push to back of escape, for example, this would be a, a really big find. Yeah, this is the other thing Andy sacrifices being able to do this uh, by going straight for that, that bomb escape. Um, like I said, just I, I think like the fact that he had to like re-kill an enemy and come back out to get those bombs, like the walk there is so not long. Like he he spent just as much time farming for those extra bombs as he would have just saving and quitting coming back here at any point. So um having something to be able to do uh, the back with, like a sword, is really the big thing. Um, you know, really makes me want to put it off a lot of times. I, like, if I do, if I get, like, eight eight drops, I, I will do the front here, just because it's pretty efficient, but yeah, he, he spent a lot of time running around just to be able to do it, and I think it cost him some, like, opportunity cost here. Yeah, it definitely didn't work out in his favor that the eight bombs was from the bush crab, so, like, he didn't even get to keep his surplus of bombs to have an advantage going into Kakariko, because they were just free 10 bombs, basically, from that bushcraft. Yeah, and now, like, there's so, only two items that he doesn't have, and he's still going to, like, want to do the back at some point. So he's pretty much have everything cleared out. Oh, Solsky obviously doing everything here. And like you did say, the the, the one saving grace is he's never going to have to do Dark Cross. Uh, so he <laughs> does get paid back like that, since we do see the map there. Yeah. Solsky, waste of... Oh, okay, okay, he's trying to kill himself. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, yeah, he's just death working. He, he intentionally hit himself while he's opening the wall, too. Yeah, I, I thought he was, I thought he just wasted a bomb um, and then got the bombs back. Um, I was not uh, paying enough attention to Eastern. I don't know if there's an item on Armos or not. I, I know we saw the compass there in the big chest. Don't recall. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure either. No item on Armos, according to our trackers. The the true heroes of the SMZ3 presentation here are the trackers. Absolutely. So yeah, 
only going to be uh, Bo's only going to lock one item on Armos, uh, effectively with that green pendant now. So that's a lot less likely. Uh, since both of them did Eastern, a lot less likely for them, for them to do to do that. Uh, that's that's a very much potential last location uh, if there is something there that's that's needed. But uh, yeah, I forgot Plasma was in there. They did get both get paid back uh, by getting uh, Plasma Beam from that trip. So I don't think either one's really unhappy with that. Uh, they know that if their opponent skips it, they're not going to have Plasma. Uh, Plasma saves uh, just a ton of time, um, especially oh, if you can get charge. Um, so they know if their opponent didn't do it, it's probably coming pretty close to just coming out in the wash uh, time-wise. So I and down here, honestly, I kind of just expect Morph to be down here. Like we don't have any of the three components for Dark World, which is the next like big like unlock you could do in SM. Looks like Andy turns on. So he, I guess he, well, he knows something has to be here, so he's not going to reset, but I was about to say, uh, probably should have waited. I mean, there's always the chance he forgot something. I'm always, whenever I'm last location or something, I'm like, okay, what did I forget? Because that feels more likely than this. Yeah, usually this early in the seed, it's, I'm, I'm more confident about this kind of thing and say, okay, well, I only checked, what, 30, 40 checks in the game. So I couldn't have forgotten one yet. Yeah, not that it doesn't happen, but uh, yeah, I, I totally agree with that. Though I usually wait on uh, turning off my beams either for an elevator or when I know I'm not resetting. So it's it's, got, it's either going to be morph or God forbid lamp over here. <laughs> lamp would be aga. Oh, There's the lamp! <laughs> Jesus, what's that back of escape in logic too for? Uh, yeah, like for Andy. Deal. So that's really unfortunate for Andy because he's definitely going to do back of the escape yeah. first. Um, I, I was going to say Andy pretty much has a, a pure lead here. You can see he's, he's ahead of Solsky. Uh, although the one thing Andy didn't do was steal that key. Uh, oh, wait, no, it doesn't put back of... So he, he's probably thinking it's going to be back of escape, uh, which means the key is going to oh, be right. in the middle, but back. it's not. Like, we know it's not. It's in the back, but he doesn't know right. that, right? So... Uh, the one, the one good for, thing for him, uh, though, in, in this situation, is that um, what he can do is he can just go to, go to the middle there, and then he can death warp. Um, also, the fact that Andy has Master Sword now is huge. Um, a, a early on, just getting magic is pretty hard. There is some an uncle you can grab to to uh, cape in in there, uh, but it's pretty easy to forget that, and it's a little bit out of your way to get some. Um, the other thing is like. I can tower fighter sword is terrible. Just absolutely horrible. Oh yeah. No, so this no this boot, master no sword bow, is oh no shield. All yeah. are useful and you kind of forget how useful some of those things are until you don't have them like using the shield to block the spears and the spear guards. It's yeah. very helpful. And you can kind of see on Solsky's side why uh, Andy turned off that uh plasma because it's just the ice is just or, sorry, he turned off the ice. Because uh, it's just sort of getting in Solsky's way right now. He's going. He's having to uh, missile all of these pirates. He's going with the behemoth climb strat here, sort of, kind of, if yeah, you squint. He's, he's, he's 60 missiles. I think he's going to have enough, at least. Yeah, it's not... Uh, the missiles, uh, he's, got, he's got plenty. Uh, we'll call it the behemoth strat with extra steps. Yeah, you can see Andy here going to Dark Cross. So by the time they enter Aga Tower, they're going to be pretty much right on top of each other. Um, again, Andy, Andy basically have having done uh, Hobo uh, and Zora already, uh, but Solsky having done Back of Escape. So Andy's a little bit ahead in that just because he's checked uh, a little bit longer checks that Solsky's likely to do later. Uh, the the back of escape checks for Andy will be really quick. Uh, the other thing is Andy's got this master sword, so he's going to probably pick up. I, I would say honestly, I would want to expect him to pick up like twenty to thirty seconds because it's it's such a big deal in in Agus Tower. Oh yeah, and it's, yeah. like I said, Salsi had to come out of his way to get magic. Uh, Andy, ironically, is the one who had the magic, uh, but he also just has master sword. Going with the the dinner bell strat here, the classic. Yeah, yeah, Solsky had to use his magic to. Uh... More magic. 
<laughs> so scared to use it to get through Dark Cross effectively. More, more magic and more big gulp. We got we got team big gulp and we got team uh, Coca Cola here. Is is Andy drinking a Coca Cola or did I miss yeah. a joke somewhere? No, he's he's he. I saw him drink a Coke earlier. Yeah. I mean, he's in Atlanta. He's like legally required to. <laughs> Oh, so uh, I've, I kind of forgot. Yeah, Solsky does also have that fire rod, uh, making great use of it there. I haven't actually seen the uh, doing that to get them together to use the fire rod. It's actually a really good strat. And he turns to block the arrow with his not shield. Messing up those energy strats. For shame. He's got the Master Sword, he's got a boomerang. Like, what more can he want? It's the wrong boomerang, though. The you, menu you're is just, different. You're just hucking it for the key. It doesn't matter in this situation. Oh, he gets... <laughs> oh, he gets uh, short-boomed. That's kind of hilarious. <laughs> for, for anyone who doesn't know, the, the way the guards activate, they actually have like a little invisible sprite that sweeps... Uh, so if you ever like hookshot it or boomed and it just stops out of the middle of nowhere around a guard, it's because it's hitting the guard's uh, eyesight sprite that's invisible. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know how to make that not happen. That happens to me literally every time. You you get as close as them as to them as possible, so it's an error uh, less. I see. A lot of a lot of times um, you'll see it. I mean, it's really more of an NMG thing, just because. You you already have the boom at that point, but you're coming out of Zelda Cell. Uh, the green guard on the way back is notorious for short booming people, so you'll see people get really close to him before booming him. But it can still happen. Like it's really just a, a mitigation strat. Okay, one thing to note: if you have uh, or, or more of a watcher of just regular Link to the Past randomizer, is that uh, the seeds for RNG here are not normalized. Uh, I don't. Does Andy, Andy's either gotten zero or one blue balls, but uh, we can actually see a blue ball difference here. That might have been that was that was certainly two or, that was two or less because he didn't get a second lightning. I think, I think it was zero. I did not see any. Yeah, that was, that was zero. Got, got so good old thieves as usual. Yeah, I mean no. Um, I was saying no hook shot, but no, oh, no. I didn't even see what it was. It's a flute. Oh my god. What a like yeah! I, I was, I was saying I had that clown seed, or I had to go to pod to get stuff just to yeah. come back. That's this is the same. I haven't it seen four checks. It open it opens four checks with the lamp and ice beam. Both give us one. Uh, ice beam gives us uh, alpha, the, power uh, bombs. alpha power bombs. Lamp gives us old man plus inside the spectacle rock and the high jump e tank. Yep. Uh, and then, like, we can have Varia pop, and that would give us Upper Norfair. Like, there's a lot yeah. of... There's a lot more dumb... Yeah, th th these are almost worse than the fetch quest change, because change, cause those, it's like, all right, well, you just go to the next step in the process. You don't have to think about it. Or, yeah, like, come on. what's coming, but, like... I don't know, it's kind of annoying sometimes when it opens up just a handful of checks. Yeah, from a race perspective, and, like, these guys know each other very well, like... They know they've pretty much done the exact same thing. Really, the, really the only audible that could have been called is what Andy did, and check Zora. Um, I'd argue that was actually probably not the greatest check, but did get paid off for it with that Master Sword. Uh, not you know, obviously not any progression or anything. Uh, you know, maybe I'll, I'll take it back a little bit. We're saying it's a bad call. He, Andy was getting so short on stuff that it was possible he could have broken, you know, a dumb sequence like this. It could have, you know, it could have been Lamp in SM for flippers. Like if and you know and then it was coming back, if that was the case, you know you'd feel terrible for not breaking it. You know, like you did all this stuff and all you did was a fake flipper. So a little bit more defendable in, in that situation. But yeah, he did get paid off with this master sword. Is going to get old man. 
I, I expect Solsky to just be falling in the footsteps here. I, I think the only I was to say someone go straight up red tower, but like, what are you going to skip? Like, you're going to do you're definitely going to do the high jump first because it's right there. Yeah, probably and peak going crop. up to going up to check the uh, spectacle rock one is it's a slow walk up the stairs, but like, you're already in length of the past here on the mountain. Up with the bar runners just chuckling at yeah. whatever is happening here. The hammer. Uh, oh, the hammer was that old man. Yeah, doesn't do anything. Yet. Does not do it. <laughs> does not, do not it. by itself. Yeah, it's hammer's nice. one of those items where you get. I mean, quote unquote, early. I don't know if we're early anymore. <laughs> we're kind of we're kind of just long for the ride. But yeah, you, you get that hammer, and you're like, oh, cool hammer, and you go like, oh wait. <laughs> um. So in this situation, I'm sure that he's you know Andy's really glad to see that because it's that means like other stuff is now coming, and it's the, the clown shoes part is is kind of gonna be ending. Um, it, it depends on like it kind of depends on how long this like linear chain goes. It, it, it can go pretty deep sometimes, where you get like a lot of a link to the past and SM items, and then uh, a lot of times what will happen in these these combo randomizers is well, there's Moon Pearl, so yeah, yeah we're probably gonna be seeing Glove here soon, or uh, just but, something in Hype Cave. Yeah, but I was saying sometimes it just like you get pretty much almost any everything. Oh, Andy, Andy didn't kill yeah. the, the Nova. He's gotta wait. This is letting Solsky catch up. Um, but yeah, sometimes like you can just have pretty much everything and then just everything opens up and you're looking for like one item and then it's just so much of a like which person guessed first. Um, so right now, like it's pretty hard for an SMZ3 to be linear throughout the entire thing, like unless your go mode is like literally more fall. Um, because like it, at some point, like SM is just going to open up and then there's just so much you can do. You sink door transition out of high jump. <laughs> So, so, oh, I, I just, I didn't even realize. I was thinking, like, oh, we need um, Glove, but uh, we already killed Aga. So yeah, that's... so you can just go straight to Hype Cave. Just uh, save the yeah. Link's house, we... walk to the walk through to the castle. And yeah, Moon, there. Moon Pearl. Usually you think uh, Moon Pearl, Hammer, and Glove. Um, I was saying Moon Pearl and, and Hookshot would get you to uh, over to East. Uh, Hammer also sort of gets you over there, or gets you the Hype Cave area and all that kind of stuff, which is probably the next... Uh, Link in the chain here. Both of them dipping out on Apple Power Bombs, which is a smart move. That thing just takes forever oh. to get to. And the fact that we've opened four, six items, right, with uh, Stumpy and Dig Game. Yeah, uh, and plus, much plus, more like uh, plus Pod. If it's not Bow Lock, yeah, you can plus, have a handful of items in there that are available. Lamps already in hand, so dark rooms aren't a concern. Yeah, and Pod, uh, Pod is really not a uh, a bad dungeon to double dip. Um, because a lot of times that key is like going to be in the back, so you're going to have to, or like, sorry, you generally you have to like go to the back and you come back to the front. Like if you're just walking through pod and you have everything already, it's it's kind of a short dungeon. It's more walking there, which is the problem. Um, so it's not the worst double dip dungeon. Um, it, it's okay. So I don't really mind an early pod here, but I, I yeah, you definitely got to do hype cave and stumpy and and dig game first. And it's again, it's just so obvious you got to do this stuff that it's like they're both going to be doing the exact same thing. There's our mirror, so that gets us, <laughs> that gets us to death to death mountain. Uh, might as well, I, again, might as well. Oh, especially with that bottle, I think what makes tons of sense here is you go to dig game, you mirror, you hand in the bottle. Yeah, absolutely. I, well, I guess with the flute, the flute it doesn't matter because dig game is far enough away that you might as well flute <laughs> there, so it, it doesn't matter. But yeah, yeah you might as well hand it. You can check. Uh, Check K45 on the way with Stumpy. Yeah, but I'm saying by the time you get to Dig Game and Mirror to walk to Hand and Bottle, you might as well just flute to Kakariko because you have flute because that's just going to be faster. So the fact that Andy is walking over here anyways is immaterial. He can just do Bottle whenever he wants. It's one of those things that, like, there's a lot of times, like, Link to the Past, especially when you have that flute pop, that you think, like, oh, this guy kind of combos in together. Uh, and then you realize, like, oh, I might as well just flute or do this other thing. And it just doesn't matter at all. X-ray beam. Yep. A little bit of a thought. Do I actually want this? Is this going to help me? Plasma's already in hand. So the best use of that generally is if you have plasma charge, you can microwave a couple bosses. It does get in your way sometimes. Menuing. Solsky's going to skip it. I guarantee that. 
Uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> making job. my words immediately. He complains Maybe he learned... about the X-ray scope all the time. So how uh, it ruins all his menus. And then the he secret, picks it up. The secret to people who complain about X-ray is that all they're saying is I don't know how to item cancel. That's it. That's what they're saying. <laughs> I used to, I used to X-ray all the time. I barely like every once in a while. That is like sometimes just easier to menu, but like I'm generally item canceling everything at this point. Yeah, uh, same. Uh, and and uh, you kind of learn some uses for it. Obviously, microwaving bosses is one. Um, X-ray climb. X-ray climb. Yeah, as, I just learned that. It's rare that that is useful, but potential uh, dragon escape if uh, gravity suit is hard to find. I assume this is I, some I sort of know. secret message to me. I don't. <laughs> I don't know what. Okay, there's an extra dig. <laughs> oh, he was trying to mirror. Yeah. Oh, there's the flippers. Oh, so, so the master swords in logic now. Yeah, master swords in logic. Or that master sword doesn't mean anything. We don't have a flu. I still think you just do death mountain here. Yeah, oh, and I you agree. can see what I was like. Like oh. Solsky did kind of what I was saying. We just you just flew like. It still makes sense to do this next. Um, so we may see our first like a little bit of divergence here. Oh, Andy's actually going back to the flippers locations. Yeah, back to do Waterfall Cave, since he wasn't able to do it, and he yeah. already did the word check. It's kind of... It's more likely than not, he probably should just realize this is probably just dead. I mean, it could be something here. You get the blue mail missile, it might, yeah. It might just be the mentality of just, just like loose end, just tie up the loose end and get it out of the way. Yeah, and, like, I mean, he's... Focus more on what the probable chain is. I, yeah. I think, I mean, it's, it's, this is pretty minor, but like, I think in my mind I, at this point, I'm just like, I'll just do it with catfish. I already got the mirror. Gloves are going to come up sooner or later. Um, like a lot of times I, I, I kind of want to delay death mountain till maybe I have mitts, but the fact that I have zero gloves right now, like that's, I'm like, I, I'm almost out of checks. Like it's pretty much impossible to happen. Like, unless literally like there was a glove in uh, waterfall cave and then another glove up here or something. Um, so, but I mean, these are just, I mean, I'm making quibbles because it's just such a linear seed that, like, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> like, uh, Solsky makes a ton more sense to this because he hasn't done any of this. He gets his Master Sword. Uh, he's just going to roll back around. Uh, he's got plenty of cash as well. Uh, I guess it should be noted because, you know, we are, you know, it's, it feels like pretty likely something's going to be up here. Um, uh, we still do have Pod on the radar. Uh, Annie is now below. Uh, the money required for Pod. Solsky will be above it at, even after uh, paying for Zora. There's and one item in closer. Era. Look at this. Look at this. Look, he's dropping, passing the uh, five bucks. This is an interesting play to be this thorough. Um, grab one item already out of this pendant, Hera. And Andy is going further. To grab the big key out of the basement and then climb up for the other item. Yeah, I, I think I get it's, the idea. It's it's just be thorough, especially early on. I I know Andy said that before a lot that you, if you if you make a skip or play aggressive early and you miss something, like it's so much harder to come back from that than you know making yeah, a skip I mean, mid or late game. I think th because it's everything's so narrowed down here, I think what you can do is just finish Death Mountain. You can either just loop back around, or it might even just be faster just to save and quit and come back up the mountain. You know, at that point, like because this is literally it. Again, we're kind of down to. I mean, yeah. we have. <coughs> excuse me. We have um, Alpha Power Bombs, and the front of Pod. <laughs> nice shot, Andy. Oh, uh, everything's just all the wheels are coming off today. Yeah, so at this point, you can, like, again, Andy sort of just is been just slightly more efficient through all these checks. The only, the only thing Solsky has up on Andy right now is he has uh, back of escape done, where Andy does not. Where's Solsky's going to pod over Death Mountain? This is I a guess. choice. That is a very odd choice. Yeah, Death Mountain is just so juicy. Like I said, pod's not the worst thing to do, but, like, Death Mountain is seven items plus the these Hera checks. And with Pod, like, if it's bow locked early, it's going to be all out of logic checks. Right? Yeah, it's and just... The first check is a, is a map. you got zero items in logic in the dungeon. Sure. That's a lot, of, a lot of checks for... Yeah, and we don't have progressive bows, so you can't steal a bow here to finish it. Um, if, the, if we did have progressive bows, I think this would be a much stronger play. Um, 
Yeah, it's just, like I said, it's not the worst thing to double dip. It's significantly worse when you don't have... Um, when you're just walking all the way here, especially through that Dark World portal. Like, if you had Flute, Mirror, uh, Glove, Hammer... Or not Mirror, you don't need Mirror. Just Flute, Glove, Hammer, you can just come over here, and then Boots just to get back here quicker. You know, it's, it's certainly a lot better. But yeah, it just feels like the Seed is just kind of angling you to Death Mountain, so... I definitely am kind of siding with Andy here, although, you know, we're gonna we're gonna see something pop, and then so Andy killed Moldorm even though he didn't have an item. That has to be a mistake. Like, I mean, no, playing for I mean, pet is if the second item's up at the top like that. See, that's why I don't like doing this hero play like this early because. You have so many other things on the east side of the mountain. And but he already had to. Uh, you feel already... a little priced into doing because well, but if you do need that pendant, when do you get back for that? You know, like you already climbed you realize halfway up pet, the tower. Like... You already climbed halfway. What if you don't have the book? I mean, it, it's it's it feels bad to leave it one floor away from the boss. It's really not that far away, and Moldrum's a quick boss fight. So sure, I just I, I, so I think I rare. like to play on the boss kill more than. The not bailing at the, uh, the the lobby chest, but I, I definitely understand. The alternative, the you, you, like you have hookshot, there. and you you already have mirror, you have hookshot. Like you can get back here Does pretty he quickly. I mean, you're probably gonna have like I'm saying, like you'll have this stuff later on. Like, I mean, it could be, I mean, it could be hook. I mean, there's you're just like I don't know, you're just playing for yeah. such a, a a small thing, you're just giving up time. And like I said, these are two of the top guys. Sure. Like, I, I if if Andy was more of like a heavy favorite in this. I, I'd be a little bit more defensive of that, but I don't. I don't know. It's just. It just feels like waste of time. <laughs> Andy, <laughs> not on mirror for that mirror race. He was just trying to blow the block up with a bomb. Yeah. Does that work? <laughs> no. <laughs> I will say Andy is also just coming off a uh, a league match here. Um, like the the thing with like a, you would think a link to the past and the SMZ three randomizers like are pretty similar. The thing is just like this is so, so much of a longer game. You have this whole SM part of it that uh, and there's that bow that's really bad for Soul All right. Well, it, that being it said, is and it is. is it likely, is. Yeah, he's likely to find something. Mm -hmm. well, the problem is Andy's just going to come right here. He's going to be able to do the entire dungeon. He's just going to save time for not double dipping this. Uh, and Solsky could just be led further away from this bow because he's going to find something and then he's going to go chase that, right? Yeah. The the interesting thing, I think the most interesting thing with this is, uh, did we get a glove that I we didn't see? Mm, and he's no. acting like he's got a glove. Yeah, and he does not have a glove. He yeah. does not have a glove. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, the the interesting thing about this though is that Andy has that bow and the mirror. Is he gonna do Eastern for that green pendant? Oh, you do Pod and then you just do Eastern. Cause... Like, I feel like you would, but what if you get progression in Pod? Like, do you still mirror and go all the way through no, just for the not. green pendant? Based I mean, you on could... what Andy's done so far, it seems that not unlikely that he will. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly an option. I... He almost definitely will. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, so I said that uh, Solsky's almost definitely gonna find something. It could be on Helma and it could be that green pendant. Yeah. Um, again, I believe it is true. We are literally out of. Ch no, we have alpha power bombs. Yep. Again, there's that. Okay, that, there's, there's the glove. that glove. Right. Yeah, Solsky happy about that, but turns out not actually beneficial for him. Like I, I, you know, I said it before, not the worst double dip, but he's like he's still paying for this. He's he's paying a minute. Yeah. Yeah. He's. Yeah, I think the only way this would help him is if he got something that would make his death mountain better. So it could like so Which that I, could if it gives him um, it gives him spike cave. If if or if Solsky ends up not going up Death Mountain, does some other glove checks. Well, I mean, what else does a glove even give you? Honestly, it gives you like Village of Outcast, the whole west side of. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. we could we literally couldn't get there. Um, so yeah. if Solsky spikes the second glove, and now there's something in Dark Death Mountain, mm -hmm. then the shoes are going to be on the other foot a little bit. Where I think maybe Solsky is a little bit better off here than than Andy. But I mean, at, at this point, 
it, it's basically true that Solsky is basically sacrificed a minute. The climb up Death Mountain to do like Death Mountain, Dark Death Mountain is like 90 seconds. So if Solsky can find the mitts and then also find something in Dark Death Mountain, or even doesn't find it, just the fact that you're likely to do that, right? Uh, and then Annie does it, uh, that time is going to kind of come out in the wash. But right now, Andy, I mean, Andy was already sort of a little bit ahead. You know, he, he was just physically ahead in the seed since it was so linear. Um, this puts him ahead by another solid minute. Yeah, the, the I think the most interesting thing about this is that I, it kind of seems like both runners are probably a little bit happy about what they're finding. Like, Solsky, yeah, I, he, I would be I would be ecstatic excited about that glove and the quake thing. And OK, I got something big here. This is great. Why would Andy go here early? I, I think I might have this over. And so Andy thinking, I, okay, I followed progression. I have the bow, but it's clearly bow lock dungeon. That's a good so thing. I, I don't get what Solsky's doing. Like you said, this opens up Village of Outcast. Yeah, um, like Thieves Town is dependent, but like he made the pod play. He found something in pod. He knows Andy was likely to come up here. So by coming up here, he's just like, I mean, I guess he doesn't. He doesn't know it could be Bo that's just leaning back in here. He's. Gonna, we'll, we'll be interesting to see his reaction. But like, I feel like if you make that play, you got to chase. Like, if you purposely put off the obvious play, why are you doing it immediately after when there's nothing up here to use that item with? Unless, unless he thinks the other gloves up here again, he can do all of dark. But he doesn't have the hook shot or boots to hover. So I don't know. I, I just feel like, especially with Skull Woods, you have the fire rod, like. Again, for me, my number one thing in this is just like if you can clear a, uh, a link to the past dungeon, just go ahead and do it. He can do, he can do skull. He's got a reason to do North Dark World. He's already cleared South Dark World, so he's not really tempted to do like the South route, right? He can do North Dark World. He's got the cape. He's got the he's got the mirror. He's got flippers. He can go over to Catfish and then mirror to finish his. Oh no, I guess he already did the flippers checks. But he can go over to Catfish, right? Like he, that, all that just cleans up so nicely when you were putting this off on purpose. If I just if you're gonna do this, I feel like you just do this before pod. For, yeah, for exactly what's up oh here <laughs> is the exact reason you should do this. Dead second. Rock is not playing nicely. Yeah, it, interestingly enough, though, like all said and done, we're still pretty much evened up. Like, Souls is going to finish these Death Mountain checks right around the time Andy's finishing up with Bond. The, Andy's got the crystal, though. Well, he'll, he'll have the crystal. That's, that's going to be the difference. Yeah, it's just the crystal. Yeah. yeah um, Souls didn't do the, the top of Tower Hero checks. So he's got that hanging. Uh, that could come back to bite him later. Andy doesn't have the back of escape done, but that's going to be real quick. He'll probably do that pretty quickly. Now oh, yeah, the with the gloves, just save and quit. You're right there. Yeah, it's one of those checks that, like, it actually doesn't combo in with anything. <laughs> like, you just save and quit, you do it, and you get back out, and then you just save and quit again. Like, you, there's, like, no comboing. Andy setting up for a death warp, even though he's got mirror. Maybe he's just running into fire on accident. Uh, just taking the death warp here probably isn't. Yeah, not the back haul. Just it's just gonna take an extra five or six seconds. Uh, it's gonna give him his health back. This is kind of you know it's well with blue mail. Um, this is gonna be uh, easier than like a normal NMG fight. So doesn't have boots though. The uh, the new strat in NMG and is doing the spin speed. But obviously Andy's been playing this game forever. He's more. <laughs> Done it thousands of times without boots, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Doesn't have the shield though. Use that nice visual cue. That's true. He's also played Rando an ungodly amount too. Uh, not actually picking up the. Maybe he's gonna pick up the heart second. Nope. Uh, the heart actually it would speed him up a little bit. Maybe he's just not thinking like quick swap. It matters. The the reason you want that heart is so you can beam here. Not beam here, but uh, you can beam in the next room, save yourself a couple menus uh, with quick swap. Obviously, it wouldn't matter, but here he's gonna it's gonna cost him a couple menus to, to hit that switch. We'll see where oh, I completely I completely missed Solsky's reaction to the bow. He didn't seem 
too Did happy about have, it. No, I wouldn't but think it didn't he seem, would. It wasn't as uh, emotive as I had expected. Yeah, I, I think he's also making the right call here. Just ignore it at this point. Uh, I, I think Solsky's oh, yeah. Solsky's big advantage of having done this. Um, I, I was saying maybe delaying Death Mountain. Uh, the other advantage is uh, he can put off till boots, and then he can also just put off Pod to much much later. Uh, when Green Pendant is looking a little bit more like a likelihood. Uh, so if Green Pendant is something, I feel like Solsky is going to be the one more likely to get it because he can just combo in with a pod very naturally. Uh, I don't know if there's an item on Helma. We'll see on Andy's side here. Because uh, once Solsky gets what gets boots, uh, pod's never going to be any faster than that. Yeah, you can see Andy forgetting he has boots, doesn't have boots, trying to do the spin speed strat without boots. Andy, you don't have boots! He's making the face like he doesn't know what's going on. All right, Solsky now making the Skullwoods play. I was thinking the routing would be a little bit more efficient if you did like Village Valcast up into this, but he's got Flute and Mirror, so you can just kind of do it whenever. Okay, there is not an item on Helma, so Solsky knows there's nothing here. Um, but, you know, he can still sort of kind of combo in pod. I mean, he's not really getting check done by doing pod, but, you know, if he, he's thinking about doing... <laughs> Damn it, Andy. <sighs> well, I think that tells us he's going to do Eastern. Also, the fact that he's going into Eastern tells us he's going to do Eastern. Yeah, never mind. There goes Solsky's advantage. I don't... I mean, all I, I get it though. I mean, again, Andy being so thorough already, and all of the pendant dungeons are 100% logically completable. That's that a little bit true. suspicious when you only have two crystals you can clear. One being Pod that he just finished, and the other being Skullwoods. Yeah, but I mean, he's got again Skullwoods, Village of Outcast. I mean, I guess it's not a ton, but Skullwoods, Village of Outcasts, uh, Bumper Ledge, Graveyard Ledge. You know, a lot of those are also things you need multiple items for, so it's a little suspicious that you have all of them. Uh, I guess Cape has already paid itself off. Uh, Mirror has already paid itself off. So, but, I mean, logic doesn't really work like that, where it's like, oh, this is this has already been useful. But, yeah, sometimes it kind of feels like that. So, yeah, I mean, he's... I mean, it's, with how little is left... I mean, this is basically playing like Link to Pass Randomizer. See, uh, we've seen Metroid for all of 20 seconds to get the lamp. <laughs> like, yeah. put that lamp anywhere else. We might as well just not well, be playing. And the Moon Pearl. Oh, and the Moon Pearl. Yeah, the Moon Pearl was in the high drive. I forgot about that. Yeah. But yeah, you're absolutely right, though. Uh, both very quick dips. We've only seen a total of four items in Super Metroid. Uh, the good old shot out the door. Uh, the good old three cycle. And when, when this room goes wrong, it is so hard to fix. Is it? You just you just <laughs> continue to, to shoot them. Have you not lost runs because you die in that room because you mess up and then you get stepped on like four times by oh. the? Uh, yeah, when I have three hearts and green mail, like you just run into them. Yeah. Well, that's what happened here. Except the blue mail means he didn't die. Look at that pre-menu to bombs. Saving those human error frames coming out. I like to menu on the overworld so I can try to get like a read on the Ropa's position. Yeah, I mean, oh, you, honestly, mean you mean Andy's side, not Solsky's side. Solsky did not menu to bombs. Pre-menu yeah. only matters when you want to like use the item immediately. So like here, you could just do it anywhere and not lose any frames. But whatever, it doesn't. It, I mean, it doesn't matter. Oh, baby. So, uh, yeah, Andy is... I've only had two Ped Seeds in SMZ3. Like, it's just... I mean, if it's going to be a Ped Seed, this is the way it's going to be, right? Where, um, you know, everything is just completely neck down early. I suppose the other thing uh, in defense of this is Andy can just do Skull Woods, mirror, grab Ped, 
pretty comfortably. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so not Skull Woods. I believe that was the... Oh, the mushroom. Oh, did we get a mushroom? Yeah, yeah, mushroom was in the big chest. Oh, uh, okay, all right. And those arrows was the, was the second item. Yeah, uh, I mean, he's got Solsky's got the flute, so you can do it anytime. Although, I feel like you just walked a catfish here, and then you just mirror. I would do the Village of Outcasts first, I think. Since you've uh, already done the south checks, you can't do any mitts checks. You might as well just do... Like, he's already up here, like... See, now he's going back to the left. I, you're not really already up here, though, because you're one screen away from Village of Outcast. He was on this screen. Sure, but like, you just, like, with flute, you just, I mean, I guess you have to walk kind of long, around the long way. I mean, I think the most sense would have been Village of Outcast, then Skullwoods, and then coming back, but whatever. And here's Andy is going, yeah, okay, that, yeah, makes a lot of sense. At least do Village of Outcast first. Yeah, instead of walking all the way for two checks. And then coming back. And there's oh, that morph ball. There we go. Had uh, significantly less likely. Yeah, that's. There are dozens that's, of that's what I was saying. Like, just come do this first. Like, I understand he was already over there, but like, how long does it take to walk back to the eastern? Like, you're just you're gambling so much for so little. Like, you're all you're saving is the walk back to eastern, and you have flute. And you can flute back, gloves. yeah, yeah. Flute and glove. So like, you're you're playing for ped. Just so you can save 30 seconds. Like, it, I don't know. It, it just feels so unlikely. I fully expect this is a front four only from Andy. Or maybe he just feels committed at this oh, point. No. Yeah, I think Andy makes a lot more sense to finish it. Just You've already done all this for Ped. You might yeah, well it may it. depend on how valuable the back half of the dungeon is like if there's only one maybe not if there's two or th like if there's three i think it becomes pretty worth and then you know that can pretty much if there's something there like that's the game and then again smz3 is long enough that like you can kind of come back mm -hmm. um just from like doing the one dungeon i mean the, the other two are sunk cost at this point i mean like andy's done those two dungeons but like i mean he's what behind i mean if anything, he's ahead. Like, so he's done pretty well. You know, Solsky has made the, did have the, uh, I don't want to call him a mistake, but, you know, got, did pod before Bo, so he lost time there. So, like, if, the, if the Andy. The kind of cancels out the Eastern play, is a, is a good way to think of that. Yeah. Andy's going for point. it. So I. Yeah, it's, it was at two, least, it's two items. Two items? Okay. Yeah, two, uh, three total. He can do Skullwoods. I mean, if you showed Andy. If you said, like, here's where Solsky is, I think he would do this play. Because, again, he's not that far behind. He could pretty much end it right here, right? If it's if one of these three items is something. Uh, it's almost better for Andy, honestly, now for there's something to be deep in Thieves versus something on Ped. Because Ped could be sniffed out with, like, a book, right? Yeah. Well, I guess best case is it's on Ped and there's no book. And Solsky's already done Skull Wood, so he, even if he finds a book, he's pretty unlikely to come back there. Solsky resetting. Oh my god, SM is in this game? It sure is. And we have logical access to like a quarter of it. <laughs> yeah, and that's that's the thing. When you have these late SMs, um, this is actually a fairly narrow um <laughs> a pretty neck down SM entry for being so late. But like I've you know I've seen these where you have relatively late morph and like you have you already have Grav, you already have Ari, it's just everything. So and like generally when it is the later SMs is another, re especially when I don't have speed um, is when I want to put off Brinstar to, to, you know, just like, just kill the bosses. Like you have to kill the bosses anyways. So, I mean, it, it's, there's so much in, in, in Brinstar and like, again, he doesn't have any, any of the suits, so you can't really do a, a, a Dragon or a Ridley or anything right now. Um, so this isn't too bad. I, I maybe would still start by just going down Red Tower still to create. You would isolate X-Ray, but I mean, both are pretty much anything Solsky does at this point is pretty defensible. SM just got so many items everywhere. Yeah, I, I, I think I would prefer this route uh, just because 
you've got 25 power bombs, you got plasma, so you don't have to worry about like your health or ammo for any of this Brinstar stuff, and like it's such a quick dead end when you go to crate. Like it is a handful it of be, things you and it's just, half, but like you would just come up. You would do crate up and then you'd end here and then you can go straight into Bryn. Or do a oh, reset. instead of the reset. Instead of the reset. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm saying start it because he's already got Death Mountain access, right? Okay. Then I am in agreement with what yeah. you said. <laughs> Plus, he could get, uh, he could do the two out of logic checks, uh, Ice and Crumble Tower, maybe snag something there. Okay, so. So at this point, like, Annie's going to ped. Um,. Definitely oh, yeah. gonna pull it. I mean, he's just basically he's doing Skull Woods, and then trying to pull this pedestal. Um, at this point, it's, I mean, this is kind of he's kind of playing with house money a little bit here. Uh, he is letting Solsky kind of getting. He's given up his lead certainly by doing. That all chest this. is open. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. So if he, if something's on ped, this is Andy's game to lose by a mile. If something isn't on ped, um. He's he's given up. He's basically given up his lead, but it's still very competitive. So he's in a pretty good. Like honestly, for pulling an unnecessary ped, this is as best as you could ever hope for. Especially with how linear the seed is. Like he's he's just played very well so far. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, without if there's nothing on ped, Solsky is is firmly in the driver's seat at this point. I would say. But you know, there's just so much. You know, we can easily have we can have like a gravity pop if there's an empty Meridia and Solsky does it and he doesn't, then that's just swinging right back the other way. Like, there's just so much that can happen. And so far, our progression here is a hook shot, which gives the rest of Swamp Palace. Yeah, that's it's really out of nice Solsky. So that's it's a hundred percent speed locked logically and normal. Yeah, that's one of the ones I always forget about, and I just don't even worry about. All that all Solsky really knows is that speed isn't logic. Uh, it does make me a little bit more worried about like there potentially being something in the Bryn because I know speed has to be in logic, so it's definitely going to be there before uh, the end game. But besides that, it's not a big deal. So all we know for certain now is the Bren loop 100% required, no Bren skipping today. So if Andy tries to do it again, when you have a very late Bren, when you have a very late SM, it becomes a lot more attractive to do. Um, but like we don't have the suits, so it's it's a little less likely. So we'll see what Andy decides. Also have that powder. That's the I think our pretty much our last fest. Well, we have uh, shovel maybe. Shovel still out there, yeah. Don't really expect a powder chase until we see like mitts or something to to do it with the Smith sequence, or we start narrowing down our possibilities. We do a flute, so it's going to be relatively quickly, but you know it's still it's a save and quit just for that. A lot of E tanks here in Brinstar. So we got six already. I think Solsky had one when he came into SM, maybe two. He had three. He had he, had, he had a good bit. yeah he had a good bit. Okay. Well, he's still picked up three more, and then he's got one more here. He's sc scouted out at the bottom of Big Pink, so he'll have seven. <laughs> he's all, all right. done. Here. All right, chat. It's what, it's what you all want. You made me talk about Ped, and now you're getting it. Okay. Uh, please stand by for Ped check. Yeah, this makes sense. He go yeah, 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 he's only got one out of the dungeon. He, the way he's routed this, uh, it kind of makes sense if you're planning on finishing up with the ped pull and not backtracking to like the uh, bumper ledge, great uh, graveyard ledge, and so on. But unfortunately, the other item is in the big chest, so Andy might have to backtrack for that or just leave it. 
after he checks pad. Yeah, I mean, if he snags something on pad, I wouldn't be surprised if he just... Well, no, actually, if he snags something on pad, he's going to go check it, because he's he's going to enter ultra-safe mode. <laughs> like, yeah. it's, he's... If something's here, he knows he just has... Probably. I mean, like, this was a decent seed to pull it. Let's see. Wah, wah. Nice. Yeah, so with that... At this point, we can safely declare Skulski ahead. He's ahead by an entire burn loop, basically. Uh, by the time Andy gets over here, he'll just be entering. Uh, this burn loop looks like it's pretty much... Well, it depends on if that Bombus is required. Um, but yeah, you're going to pretty much have to do the whole thing. Potentially could skip Blue Burn Star, but even if Andy does, then he loses 40 seconds on Ganon with those Silver Arrows. 40 seconds again, and, and maybe more time on other bosses if we don't see a tempered, and Solsky has those. So, Solsky's looking in great shape right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see, uh, above all, if Andy leaves the North Dark World checks, or exactly how thorough he decides to be before going into SM. I think he's like, he's right here. They're never going to get any faster. Um, I'll get boots to pair it with King's Tomb Bonk Rocks. Yeah, I'm always nervous about that, having an isolated King's Tomb before I have mitts. Um, but if you don't have either, you know, it's not... I mean, it can be bad. You know, it can be a really bad orphan when that's what it wants you to do and you don't have mitts early. But yeah, it makes sense. And he's probably going to come... He's going to come right to SM afterwards. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if we see the Bryn loop from him too. Again, there's just so many items here. That uh, is paying off for Solsky. He's going to have uh, Swamp to do. Like you said, it is out of logic for that speed. So speed's got to be hiding somewhere. Could be hiding in those, like I said, those crate checks. Um, could also still be something in Waterway or Criteria Supers. Uh, which if Andy does manage to find the speed before coming to Brynstar, if if that's something, that's also huge. Because those, those take a long time to get back to usually. Did he get that pirate? I don't think he hit him. Oh, wait, the door's already open because he yeah, came down here earlier. He was here right. earlier. They came down for lamp. I forgot already. So long ago. The required lamp when you already have fire rod. Well, I guess, I mean, I guess they could have just gone straight through, right? Especially with fire rod. But, I mean, neither one was making that play. That would have been really Yeah. Nice. I think they had, what, like five hearts? Five parts, no boots, fighter sword, dark yeah. agate tower. That's no fun. Yeah, I mean, dark agate tower, like, as long as you have fire rod, it's, it's okay. Finally getting the uh, back of escape checks here from Andy. Honestly, some of those early rooms, before the ones, like, that are harder to navigate uh, with the lamps, some of those early rooms, you can take a lot of damage early, just if you get poked by some of those, like, dagger guards and you can't find them. Solsky's still picking pretty. up those missiles. And doesn't get the mock ball. And doesn't open the door before with unmorphing. Alright, looks like Andy... Well, maybe not. Oh, he's going to turn in the, the mushroom. I thought he was going to do the... Uh, play that you mentioned, Duck, going into SM. I'll yeah, I mean, he's still can. Checking grade. He still very well might, yeah. He's going to get this mushroom yeah. check first. I mean, it's, it's kind of an interesting trade-off. Because if you do crate super early, you tend to isolate... X-ray, if you do Brinstar super early, you tend to isolate the speed checks. Uh, there's two speed checks. There's only one X-ray check. Uh, I also feel like it's not too bad to dig out that X-ray. Like, I've done it with, like, coming in or coming out of um, Meridia. Like, you can come out of Meridia and then save, and then save scum X-ray. It's, it's really not too bad. Uh, so there's ways to clean it up. And he's just going to Brinstar again. I, I mean, it's fine. Again, I just... I feel like crate up just makes so much sense. I mean, you could just have something at crate even, and then. But again, minor. I mean, it, you're very rarely going wrong doing Brainstorm when you have 15 power bombs. Yeah, I absolutely agree. So the interesting thing, like, I could also see uh, the one thing, like, if you're saying, like, oh, um, I got that hook behind speed. 
Uh, the second you're coming into to Swamp, you might as well also start considering Wreck Ship because Speed also puts Wreck Ship into Logic. Uh, so it becomes a much more high value uh, play to do. Although on the flip side, then you, you really don't want to have there being a uh, speed block item at the reserve. But yeah, and and the way that speed speeds up wreck ship substantially. Uh, you know, it You're doesn't. Me you want to do the trippers with no speed, no high jump, no space jump, no bomb. It's, it's only like if you can do the wall jump off the one, it's only like ten seconds. Like, with no high jump, that's rough. That's yeah, just waiting for him to go to the left. It's like 10, 15 seconds. I mean, it's it's not great, but it's not horrible. It's only a little bit slower than than bomb jumping up up there. I don't think I've learned how to do that with no high jump boots. I, I can't ever get it. Neither has Cutie. <laughs> that's that's rare that I'm in the same class as he is. In anything <laughs> SM related, but we we were practicing for the co-op tournament, and like I was like, oh, this is easy. He's like, I he's like, I can't get it. I'm like, what the hell's wrong with you? This is free. Well, there's those bombs. Or can fly now. Yep, that uh, without space, without anything, honestly, can't, bombs, bombs. When it's like really your first movement, yeah, it can be pretty big. That does open up um, criteria. Uh, the criteria PBs uh, opens up. I guess not much else. Lodge. Oh, it could be like upper Norfair when we find Varia. It could be your logic there. Oh, well, we already had ice for that. So I guess right now it's only criteria PBs, but it's it's nice utility to have for a lot of places too. Uh, can get you to the the croc exit, although we we already know it's nothing. Uh, can get you to the croc missiles, the Indian Jones missiles, mm -hmm. or the grapple location itself. Oh yeah, and weirdly enough, the uh, the croc power bombs. I always forget about that one having logical requirements since there's. A million ways to get there, but a normal mode, you do need I something. Think you you do need something to get there. Even like, I mean, just physically, you can't get up there with literally nothing. They had ice. That would can't you, can't you deboost off the uh, off the the ripper? Can you? I need to learn that then. Unless unless you need high jump for that for some reason, but I, or speed. But I I feel like that's the thing you can do. I know that, that's one of the ones that like you so often have something when you're coming down there. Um, Especially in normal, you need like well, I guess you can get down there with just like wave, right? Well, no, yeah. we need upper Norfair. Yeah, like to even get there, you kind of need something. So like, yeah, like I'm very just... rarely there with absolutely nothing. So it's every once in a while, I'm like, oh, I can't actually get up here, and it's weird. So like that debus is like one I've never actually like really practiced. Yeah, the debus off the gamuts uh, also works. You can like bait them up into the air, and then like once they get high enough, you can. Jump and deboost off them. It's I can deboost. I know very... you can. Yeah, I've done the bait to to freeze them, which is a pain. Yeah, there's a deboost that works with that too. All right, I gotta I gotta look at that. I don't remember why I've done it, but I've definitely done it before. Anyways, uh, as Solsi's trudging along through swamp. Uh, we keep talking about speed and things that open up in SM, but boy, those boots sure would be nice for Link to the Past. I've, I've, I've had a couple. You wanted the most. I've had a couple boots with seeds that just I don't know how many you had, but it just feels like this tournament's just handing out boots with seeds like they're candy. They're so annoying. Like this mode is so long, and then like you get into you just have no boots, and it's just it just takes forever. It's it's bad. Yeah. Uh, there's there's definitely a few places in, in Link to the Past that I try to avoid without boots. Like a lack oh, yeah, of Andy... determining factor, including Swamp. I just realized Andy picked up that spacer. <laughs> so it activated. Yes. Poor Plasma. But uh, unless we missed it, I don't think we've seen anything yet in Swamp that's any good. No, I mean, it could be that the flip side is like speed could just be very late in the seed. Hookshot could very well be the last thing you need. Um, so like I was saying with, um, you know, uh, having Hookshot access also means you have Wreck Ship access. If speed's just late, if speed's like the penultimate item that you need, 
you know, it's possible that, like, wrecked ships just going to be locked forever, too. Yeah, it's, a. Uh... Oh, Solsky, uh, he pushed the statue there. I was confused for a second. Pushed the statue, so he doesn't have Kane. Uh, maybe not as familiar or comfortable with the bomb diver down strat. But then he yeah, went through the wrong is. door anyway. He went through yeah. the door as if he was doing diver down. I've done, I've done that. <laughs> Especially yeah. after playing AD for so much, I came back to NMG and I was like, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> like... I, I definitely done that as well. I think we're still missing all three dungeon items here, so of the five remaining items, three of them are map compass big key, unless I'm mistaken. Well, there you go. There's map. There's a map. I know we don't have the big key yet, since Dulce went past that big chest. So, and again, like, I feel like the swamp play is so obvious, and is likely to come here right afterwards as well. Could opt to stay in SM. The thing is, like, I'm not. If, if you don't have great SM movement, I'm not a big fan of just like ugh, staying in SM, especially when you have a, a, a nice big juicy dungeon like swamp. So yeah, but it's bootless swamp. That's not any better. Yeah, but like, there's so many items in like literally every item in SM makes you faster, right? There's only like four items in like the past that really speed you up: boots, swords, and like silver arrows, right? So. Like, it, it, you're more likely to just find movement items at some point for SM than you are for A Link to the Past, right? Yeah, that's fair. I guess with the mirror and the hookshot and the flute already in hand, those are ones that also speed you up here and there. Yeah, yeah stuff like that as well. Um, but yeah, it just feels like... But, but like all those things also... I mean, I guess the stuff in SM opens up logic stuff too but like once you know a lot of tricks they don't as much right you can just get there anyways so uh just open stuff up logically but yeah i mean i wouldn't be surprised any could opt again to do like down to crate finish off that boss uh pick up pretty much pick up as as many items on the way down there as he would doing swamp so certainly an option um you know going down red tower those movement items really aren't going to help you. you're just kind of falling down a big shaft so like high jump isn't really helping you much there. Uh, you will abandon that x-ray, kind of orphan that a little bit. Like I said, you can clean that up later. Yeah, especially with the speed checks of waterway. And yeah, so I, I feel like Solsky finally has the first decision in the seat. I don't, it's not immediately obvious where he should go next. And it looks like he's, yeah, he's going to be doing like this crate at this point, though. I think the crate, I guess either wreck ship or crate. I guess there's two two decisions that I think make sense here. Either, like you said, follow as if he had speed, go to wreck ship, or crate up red tower. Yeah, I mean, I think if you're going to do the wreck ship play, you might as well just do crate, crate up red tower anyways. Into wreck ship, yeah. Into wreck ship, right. So this seems like... Although at that point, like, you've done speed. so much that, like, whatever your progression is has to be close. Now, of course, it could just be speed in one of those locations, but then you kind of want it anyways, so... Yeah, if he does crate up and doesn't find anything, which I feel like he's gotta, because what else do we have? I think he's going wreck ship down instead. Which also... I don't think he's work? starting at wreck Oh, he's cleaning up bomb trees, though, because he never did that. I didn't realize we hadn't seen this. So this will probably be a reset out as well. If it's nothing. And I think it's a reset. Power bombs. Reset to yeah the criteria power bombs. Uh, catfish. Yeah. Nothing major though. I think like I think there's like one or two hangers in a link to the past. Um, we haven't seen yeah. catfish. We haven't seen magic bat. But as far as like big items like death mountain, a dungeon, uh, wreck ship stuff like that. Like I think it's. The crate, the red tower crate stuff is the only thing we haven't seen. Besides random one offs, uh, catfish, magic bat. Is, is there anything else? Yeah, yeah Solsky did magic bat. He did. Oh, that. we did? Okay. I missed that. Yeah, I, I missed what it was, but I saw him in the room and his tracker didn't light up with anything when he left. <laughs> so. Uh, again, shout outs to our trackers. Yeah. 
doing our jobs better than, than we could do them. So, yeah, if this is something that means... That almost certainly means speeds in this red tower, which, like, you should just do it then, just to get the speed. <laughs> yeah, if this is something, it tells you a lot, right? Because it, it's got to put speed sooner than later. And it's not. Ops to skip the heart. Uh, Andy is going... This might be a little bit of a... Feels like he needs... Oh, oh my god. Maybe maybe he might have just been checking. The, Remember when the, I said you should be doing there. crate up? <laughs> that's well to me that's part of you you usually check that one item. But yeah. yeah. Or maybe you do one attempt at the CWJ and if you miss it, you just leave instead of trying to Yeah, I do that a lot. If I have yeah. like or if I have space jump or something, I'll I'll check the West Ocean and I'll also check uh if we have space jump, I'll check the uh the mid item. Um so if, if that's something that will that will encourage me to do wreck ship in total. Uh, I guess Solsky did the CWJ first try? That he did the uh, spring ball bounce. Oh, the spring ball bounce. Okay. For a second, I was almost going to be so really weird. impressed. It was like, he either did the CWJ or the horizontal bomb jump first try. I didn't think he had it in him, but uh, he's just doing the spring <laughs> ball jump. The it's... spring ball one is just as hard, in, in my opinion. You just like, aim for the platform and hold jump. so inconsistent. Like you, it's... Okay, compared to CWJ or high, horizontal bomb jump, like... I... If you gave me if you gave me spring ball for any percent, I have a forty three by now. Because I'll I'll play you every one of them. I'm either on or I'm off, and it's whichever one is hard for the day is different every day. <laughs> that's that's fair. Sometimes they get the HPJ couple like first couple tries. Sometimes it takes me five minutes. Same I mean, the, the this, I'll say this: the spring ball jump is more consistent than either one of those two, and I've literally never practiced it. So I don't think yeah, I don't think it is for me, but. And then I need you to teach me the secrets of horizontal bomb jump because <laughs> I don't know. I I practiced it. <laughs> That's my secret. I don't even it. know how many hours I've spent in that. <laughs> so Solsky going kind of almost the opposite of what I expected. Solsky going for the wreck ship play and Andy skipping it. Like I said, this is it, assuming if the hook shots in logic, this is in logic. Um, but you don't know when speed's going to pop, right? Uh, if, if speed had, if, you know, or the hookshot had led to... I guess hookshot didn't even actually lead to those morpho bombs. Now I think about it, it, just it was just in swamp. But if, like, hookshot led to yeah, something and then, you know, this makes a little bit more sense. Yeah, I, I think I think I like... I think I do agree with uh, making more sense for Solsky being here rather than Andy, just because Andy has the, the swamp play as well. After the the mitts checks, probably going to check mitts stuff first. You know, Meyer area, through attack, Dark Death Mountain, Ice Palace, and then can do Swamp if he wants. But I mean, that's a lot of stuff. Like, I think the only Crystal Dungeons to clear potentially. I think the only reason I'd quibble with the wreck ship right now is it feels like the thing that's going to give you access is the speed because you already found something behind speed. Um, yeah. which, and like, you've got so little left. Well, I guess you have the mitts now, right? That does open up a bit. Um, does open up Ice Palace. Grant, we don't have the red cane. That's, you know, a lot of runners like delaying it. Um, I, I feel like just, yeah, I, I guess, I mean, Andy's doing the red tower checks. There hasn't really been anything so far here, but yeah, it, it feels like speed. It's just somewhat likely to be here just because you've already found something for it. But again, like remembering you've... <laughs> Honestly, remembering that those, that's a speed required item when you find it, it can actually be pretty hard in SM. So we'll see. I mean, it's I, honestly doing wreck ship like it's always a good play and it's always a bad play at the same time. It's it's so hard to tell until you find something or you don't like. All right, one for one in our crates today. That's 40 supers for Solsky. That's a nice, healthy amount. All 
Oh, Solsky okay. is going to bail on the top. Interesting. You know, I like this. Uh, he was already committed to going in here. Was already like set up for the spring ball bounce. Probably by the time he like realized what was on that pedestal. Maybe just uh, you don't really lose very much by coming back, and it opens up so much. Like you might as well just get the boss done. Yeah, this is really this like is it. very defensible in, in this um, this situation, especially because it's technically out of logic, right? Yeah. I, the only thing that I would have done differently is scouted that mid-ocean missile. Because you can scout that from the bottom. A little delayed wall jump, it's not too bad. That way, if there's something on the top, you just do the whole thing. Like if you see something... Oh, I, can, I can barely scout that thing with space jump. <laughs> I didn't even know you can get it without... You can you can scout oh, yeah. that with just... You can scout with it just, with anything. Huh. Or nothing. Man, I'm, I'm, a little, I'm like making notes for things I gotta I gotta practice. I mean, you could use the morph bombs to IBJ up to it, but that's probably not worth it. But no. yeah, there's a, you can just do the delayed wall jump. It's, it's not too bad. Pretty much the same as like getting the gauntlet. Alright, so at this point, Solsky is now trailing Andy, uh, but Solsky is up the swamp check and up the uh, Fantoon kill. Andy's up three pendants, though. He is up three pendants. That is correct. I mean, that's not not if this seed is, like just becomes bone dry, right? And we're really like we're on ice rod hunt or something, which is entirely possible, right? We do have Turok uh, crystal here, uh, or or even like an ether or cane, like one of those like items that doesn't really lock a lot. Uh, Solsky might start doing those those pendants, right? And uh, that's that's Solsky's big advantage right now. He really hasn't touched any of them. I think he went into the front of Hera and went into the front of, of mm -hmm. Eves, which is completely standard uh, when they're pendants. Um, yeah, he left uh, two items in, in Thieves and one in Hera, plus the one on green pendant. So they're all hard to get back to. Yeah, None of them that's, be early. that's the thing is since he's sort of, he's, yeah, he's dug out half of each one of them. Like, it's so unlikely for him to ever go back. Um. Like, I don't see him going back there before he's literally exhausted every other thing, including like shack tools and plasmas and that kind of stuff. Other like easy to isolate stuff. The only only one I could see him going back to is is Eastern when he does pod. If he gets like boots or something and does goes back and just finishes off pod, he knows there's nothing in pod for him. But if he's got boots and is kind of looking at that green penny, he might just that just might make him do it a little earlier. But besides that, like. Yeah, maybe Hera if he comes up to Dark Death Mountain, which is Andy's at now. Like, this is the other thing Hookshot opened. You know, we're thinking Swamp. We completely forgot about this. Well, once once we had mids, obviously. Looks like uh, Turtle Rock is the medallion that we don't have. That's the ether. There's a charge beam. So sort of solves our ammo problem. Um, the only exception is we don't have Varius still. So if we're looking at maybe Hell Runs, uh, we do have like Screw Attack. We do have Plasma. That's stuff that I'm looking for when I'm, when I'm going to do Hell Runs. So uh, you, do, you do want a lot of ammo for that. Yeah. They... Uh, but besides that, it, you know, as soon as we find Varia, we, or we do not care about picking up a single other Super Metroid ammo item. And yeah, I know Andy's got 30 power bombs. He, I noticed he turned away from a pack that was pretty freely available. Uh, but 30 should be enough for those hell runs. That's not likely to be your limiting factor. Yeah, I mean, he's going to want... Really, the only thing we're really missing uh, for it to be an attractive option is some sort of movement. Like, yeah. doing it with... Yeah, like having to <laughs> morph ball uh, bomb jump the worst room in the game is not really doable for a lower north for a hell run. You got spring ball. Let's sure you do a spring, spring ball. It's it's also pretty bad, but it's it's less horrible. And we do not go two for two. Very calculated uh, spike cave there too. Yeah, Andy does he's have the oh, last he, magic and the last. Never mind. Andy's one the one who skipped X-ray. I was like, oh, he's got he's got microwave for all the bosses. Yeah. You can microwave, and nope, no, he does not. <laughs> no, so he can't microwave uh, Fantoon. Nope. Granted, if he gets a wave, it can still, it's an easy two round.
Oh yeah, hey, Shop so. gets us into the front of Meyer too. Such yeah, a uh, I'd be interested to see if Andy dips Meyer. Well, um, I feel like if you've made the pet play and it didn't pay off, uh, something in well, never mind. I don't think you got a Meyer now. <laughs> yeah, not with the various suit. I think I've got a little PTSD. I've had like three pendant Meyer seeds or arcane and Meyer seeds recently, so I'm just like. Yeah, the very old. I mean, Andy's still got potentially clearable desert. It's crystal. Yeah, I mean, clearable I ice crystal. Well, he's just clearable not Varia, it's crystal and Varia for all of Norfair. So yeah, with the only I see no reason to go into a half clearable dungeon, even though it's you're not really losing a lot of time there necessarily for the double dip. It's still too much left. Oh, um, Andy doesn't have more fall bombs, so he can't do LN. He's got he spring ball. He can't even without high jump. He can't get out of um, GT. Well, I guess he could come he from upper. Ball. He can go from upper Norfair and do the high jump list lava dive. You can't do a spring ball jump without high jump there. I'm pretty I sure you can. can. Huh. I think it's too far. I think it's too far off. Maybe you can. I forget. I was trusting Ivan honestly, which will learn me. Okay, apparently you can. But the flip side is like that's all terribly slow. Like Ellen's pretty straightforward, but without movement items, it's really slow. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, worse so in the game, you got you can freeze the pirates. Isn't so bad. Yeah, I mean, a, a lot of Free times I like players. doing in this situation. I would like doing like an Ellen, and then go up to uh, Upper Norfair because it routes in very nicely. Uh, this is one of the cases I think it would be okay. I think I would consider doing upper Norfair down, looking for something to speed up my lower Norfair. Yeah. Um, and I would just commit to the high jump list. Like, I was like, I would just go upper Norfair. I was like, if nothing's here, I'm just going to go ahead and do LN on, on a high jump list. Or, or honestly, just at that point, you just flew back to lower Norfair too. It was also possible. Yeah. I was going to say, you're, you're saying the spring ball jump's too slow, but high jump list lava dive is it's super slow. fast. It's not really, it, it's, not really that much slower than any other lava dive. Just first try it. Oh yeah, sorry. Forgot to just do that. It's not that bad. I mean, it's, it's doable, but it's... It's not that bad until you have to do an erase, then it's... Yeah. Although I think there it was actually the uh, the Solsky Aussie versus Andy I Ivan race where there was a horrible grab and Solsky Aussie broke it with high jumpless and Andy Ivan didn't. So I forget if Andy can actually do high jumpless. It's a hint to someone in chat to remind me if he can or not. <laughs> See a yes in chat, uh, again, but it's sorry. answering a different question, so I'm gonna assume that yeah, answer. We're, we're gonna too. go with that. <laughs> anyway, okay, they learned it after the fiasco, after they were out of the tournament. I guess they're in another tournament now, so it's fine. I mean, honestly, that's a good way to learn things. You know, what what burned you before? Don't let it burn you again. Yeah, that's definitely that's to use that opportunity. If it hasn't come up before and you played a bunch of seeds, like it seems not a high priority, so. I totally get not learning those things. I've had that happen to me several times. Oh, times stuff. right. That was that was their winner's bracket match before they got sent down. Yeah, that's actually that's how I learned there was uh, a second item behind the missile behind reserve. Uh, like Mira was there one seed when I was very first learning. I'm like, oh, there's there's more than one. item. That's why there's two items here on the tracker. <laughs> Andy uh, getting his flute out. Did he already go down to screw attack and I missed it? No. Okay. That's that's a that's a quick one. I kind of. I guess I see either way. I kind of expected him to go pop in and just look at that real quick. Um, but it looks like he's yeah, and that, that was a that. completable desert. Obviously, I don't think there was anything yeah, in there. I uh, saw so an E tank and missed the other item. But yeah, it looks like uh, 
Could be a Smith's okay, cleanup. Yeah. This is a little odd. I, I would have, I would have expected Ice Palace at this point. I, I know you want yeah. King with Icebreaker. There's no half magic, so your magic consumption's a little bit difficult to manage. He's got Bombos though. Yeah, you have Bombos though if you're if you're shy when you get to Gold Stair. Uh, it's not even you're shy. Just like it makes the the magic uh, management way easier. Oh, he he hasn't done swamp yet, so you can do Smith into swamp. That makes oh, that makes little, yeah, it, yeah. It runs in pretty nicely. Um, otherwise, it. otherwise it just kind of gets hard abandoned. I mean, he's got the fl yeah, he's got the flute. He's already, actually... he's already done the stuff in between Smith and the Swamp, though. So again, it's like what you mentioned earlier, where like you have flute, so you're just gonna mirror and yeah, flute with, with anyway, flute, it so actually doesn't combo in together. You're right. Synergy doesn't do anything. I yeah, was thinking it's... the same thing. Yeah, it's one of the especially when you've just played a lot of Link to Pass, pass Randomize, you can just like have things group in your mind, like oh, you, I can go from Smiths into Swamp, and that, and it's just like yeah, but that's only under these certain circumstances, not these certain circumstances. Does get the. All right. Does get either you said yeah that's the one for Turtle Rock right so yeah that's yep. that's a that big find that is Smiths especially because Salsi did Swamp although again doesn't actually combo but you know in in your mind it kind of can uh, there's there's nothing else besides Smith sequence pulling Solsky back over here yeah Solsky's um, even already done the magic powder that Andy hasn't done yet so that's even one less thing yeah honestly I, I think uh, the magic powder is what's pulling him over here more than um, than anything because now it's four right. He just might as well do it. Especially without boots. Like you can always snag a boots here for, for Swamp, right? So. Also, again, Andy had just done another match right before this, so he, this could be just a little mush brain <laughs> thinking things combo in together when they don't. Cannot, could not blame him if, if that's the case. It looks like you forgot the chest for a second. <laughs> no. And he's just walking there. I mean... I'd have to time I never it. Know, I never know what's faster in this situation. It, it could be all the extra mirroring back and forth. I mean, you got to mirror back and forth anyways to hand in the chest, but... No, nah, I, I... You just oh, mirror he's got here. The shovel. He can do the shovel with this. Oh, even though, he, even though he's already done... Is he getting X-ray? And he's getting X-ray. He's getting X-ray. Okay, this actually makes sense. Because he's going to yeah, check yeah, the yeah, shovel yeah. anyway. This, I don't know if it's worth it to get the X-ray or not, but it definitely isn't a bad play and it probably feels the worth it. the x-ray and the shovel are certainly excuses and then it then it sort of just does combo in with swamp night never mind <laughs> like if just swamp. i mean what I, the swamp thing i guess is irrelevant but um you just flute from yeah I, I mean picking up that x-ray like i mean x-raying the bosses isn't that much faster like it's certainly nice um like, you have a ton of ammo for Dragon and everything. It'll save him a good bit of time, but... Yeah, I mean, it's not an excuse to come do this stuff. He did get paid off with, with Ether, and right now that's Solsky's biggest weakness, so... what Did you see what just happened with those bombs that just floated in midair? No, I'm sure it's Insula or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> the, the bombs that Andy dug up with the shovel just kind of hung in the air, and he walked underneath them and didn't grab them and then floated away. Sure. I this <laughs> it seems it seems normal. He clearly doesn't need them. This fourteen. All right. So Solsky is coming to. I think Solsky does have charge as well. Yeah. Taking up spring ball here. Okay. Good. I was thinking maybe he was. It wouldn't make any sense to skip GT when you have uh, charge yeah. plasma. Gonna get a little scout. My E tank is just completely unnecessary at this point. Plenty of plenty of health. Let me get some nice double hits here of plasma with the crouch. So it is missing wave does speed up the fight a lot, but still like we see pretty quick fight. 
Okay, he really wants that uh, tenth E tank there. I mean, once you look at the, the fry, other item, gets... and yeah. you're waiting on the drops anyway, so might as well do something while you wait. Waiting on the drop? What? He's <laughs> got a the billion ammo. Well, you have to wait for the drop so the doors open. That's Otherwise, true. you're locked in the room. <laughs> So this is in logic because, well, actually, yeah, no, it is in logic because these morpho yeah. bombs. We don't need hookshot for these morpho bombs. That Andy is about to pick up. Uh, Solsky just opting for the spring ball jump. Uh, the bomb jumps was pretty slow, uh, and then of course if you drop them, it's just hell. So just whatever you're more comfortable with there is fine. The spring ball jump is not in logic in normal mode, but uh, just can be a little bit more useful. And I expect the same thing here. Probably just gonna do the spring ball jump to get out of worst room in the game. Yeah, I mean, here you could have also opted to freeze the pirates, but with no wave, it's a. I don't. It's just one shot. Uh, no, I, I don't know. I'm not a. Some people are running encyclopedias of all sorts yeah. of beam damage and stuff. I I never know. There's so many different weird combinations. That... Yeah, I know. Uh, my. Typical co-op partner Tracy can confirm. I never know how many shots it takes. Oh, she knows pretty much anything, and she, I would always ask her, and she always knew all the answers. Yeah, no, she's she knows every sort of bizarro combination there is. Like twenty and forty-five. Those are the numbers. Thirty, twenty, and forty-five. Yeah, I don't, I don't know any other numbers for anything else. Meanwhile, my partner was, was Cutie, one of the arguably uh, better players in the entire tournament. And whenever I asked him, he was like, yeah, something like that. <laughs> this is like 400. Yeah, it's, it's around there. <laughs> All right, cool. Some some things he knew, some things he was just like, yeah, sure. <laughs> I do want to note, uh, Andy's doing left side of Swamp first as well. Same way Solsky did. Uh, I think Solsky left an item in the big chest. I, I think that was he... the compass. Yeah, it might have been. Or it could have been. Actually, I think it was the big key. Now that I think about it. No, the big key was in the back. Oh, I, I, I did see him pick up the big key, but I don't know if he got the compass or not. The key was in the, uh, the flooded room or the waterfall room. I thought that was the map that was there. Map was in the flooded room. The big key was in the waterfall. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. Okay. And our tracker confirming that it was the compass. Thank you. Again, shout out to the trackers. Okay. So we did not abandon an item. Yeah. Like, that's the thing with doing the left. My rule is always like, because I hate coming back out with the big key. My rule of thumb is like, if the big key's early, do left side first. If not, then, then don't. Uh, even with Diver down, like, the fact that, like, the, like especially the big key's like an arm roast, and you have to come back all the way back in the, the dungeon anyways, like, it just... It just you just say it. you're not checking it. It's left forever. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the big thing. Which is also like, a fine option, but that's, that's the risk you're That's the other reason. By doing the back first, I, I, I know how much is over there, right? So if there's, like, one item and I feel like being, you know, aggressive, I can skip it. Or if there's two items and I feel like being aggressive, I can skip it. Uh, I just feel like the additional information is worth, like, you know, it's it, it's technically optimally faster, but with like the right big key layout, it's not even going to be faster, and it's just uh, it's just hell. Like, so I just if the big keys are early, then I just do it because I know I can clear everything, and it is optimal. Although even then, it just feels bad when you have map compass over there. A really nice uh, Ridley fight there from Solsky. Just went full supers. Also, victory, big gulp chug there. Who uh, yeah. So I don't know what the pool's at, but he's an hour and 42 minutes on this big gulp, and he's still going strong. So, Meanwhile, we haven't seen anything from Andy's Coke in the last uh, hour, I want to say. So, We should have been proactive with this. I got a, got a poll going, or prediction. Please start one. <laughs> Whoever has that power, yeah. please, please start a poll. Okay, yeah, there was the big key. But yeah, the compass is, is going to be in there.
So nothing uh, too exciting down here in LN. Still really linear, so it's not like a, a waste of time for Solsky to do any of these checks. Obviously needs really killed. Yeah, in, in this situation, uh, like, you always, you know, he was once something down here. When you're, you're doing it on low equipment, it's a little bit of a feels bad, especially like if you did it in go mode, you could reverse. So you can save a good chunk of time. Uh, but it is linear. You do have to do it. Um, there's not much you can cut out. It's very like turtle rocky that like, sure, there are efficiencies you can pick up in go mode, but you know, you just don't worry about it too much. Uh, even on low equipment, Solsky's done a really good job here uh, getting those spring ball jumps pretty quickly. I was gonna say, nice freeze. Okay, you freeze both. Nice little, yeah, nice little freeze strat to get out. Can be a little tricky without high jump, uh, jumping and doing a wall jump to get back out. We see a decision point for Andy here if he goes to ice or decides to go to Norfair. Those are really the only choices that make a lot of sense i think from where he is solsky checking hodoruby e-tank which it is now called canonically canonically hodoruby e-tank for the amount of times there's been e-tank there and completely saved my butt yeah it looks like andy is going to be making the fall here to ellen I think this is the right call. It's just unfortunate for Andy. He's he's sort of just still behind here. Yeah, with the exception well, of that I guess, ether. Yeah, well, ether and he's got... I forgot. He does have pod done. I just looked at Andy's track. He's like, he's got so many dungeons. <laughs> I remember three of those repentance. Like, yeah, it's, that doesn't help. Yeah, he's got all, all the... But, all, but he's also... I forgot, he doesn't more. have Fantoon, which Solsky does have. So, yeah, this sure. is really close. Um, the fact that Andy's kept us so close with having done... All of Ped. All right, there's that cane. So good, good call by Andy. I think to to put off uh, Ice Palace. I do expect the Ice Palace to be right after for both these guys. Um, at this point, I the the croc call is always interesting. Um, when you don't have speed, it's a pretty big nightmare to get back over here. Again, since you know speed has to pop in the seed, I think that makes it a little bit more likely that you should do it. Um, Granted, you could just wait to speed and then you can come back. So I, I don't know. Like it's, it's one of those things with Croc that like you can think about it logically, and the logic kind of gives you the exact opposite <laughs> results simultaneously. Yeah, I think I think in Solsky's case, skipping Croc is a good call since he doesn't have that. I, I'm almost going. I, I think with Charge Plasma, like the fight just becomes so quick. Like just do it. The, I mean. But then the, just the, just the souls he's behind on some overworld checks that Andy has. Well, well there's now you definitely don't. Yeah, no, you definitely don't. Your croc. <laughs> and you know the wave beam is the other way to get there logically, and that's uh, that's boots lock too. I was going to mention. We did see that early on the library. Right. Book yeah. Kill. Not that that really matters for getting there, but knowing it's in logic can make a difference. Yeah, I mean, I think the bigger thing is like with that hook shot speed. It is in logic, so I can go either way. I, maybe like you are gonna kill Croc really fast with Charge Plasma, but then of course getting the other two items is gonna be really slow. Um, Solsky waiting for that D boost and then just walking right off the platform. I was ready for him to just screw attack the waiver and yeah, kill it immediately because that's what I do ninety percent of the time. Yeah, nice little ice uh, stairs strat there. Yeah, a lot of time when I have screw attack, I just am, I just hold an angle just to break myself right out. But it does make your oh, turnaround animation. Turn the screw little attack off. <laughs> That's well. There's oh, the boots, which right, is the wave well, beam. So Croc's in logic. <laughs> yeah, Croc is officially in logic. I'd be. I don't know. I. I'd be I still a little, wouldn't go there. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'd go there. And you have all of Meridia, and, and the, it's in logic too. Even like from the back with the thing. The, uh, the, the thing you're saying, all of Meridia, like. You could read that the other way, where you have all of Meridia, yeah. and if there's nothing there, then you've just wasted so much time, right? And if something's just in Croc, like, I mean, the answer is always go to where the items are, right? Like, that's that's the thing of these. Sure. Things. But yeah, well, the boots also make the dungeons you've got to do and link to the past better to get your crystals. So 
Sure, but nice. all he's got right now is ice. Probably the dungeon the boots help with the least. So you can poke Looks dash cold like stare. You can poke dash cold stare. Will Solsky poke dash cold stare? Well, I mean, with uh, mastery, you don't even want to. He checked most Cathedral. Eternal Rock, too. No, he checked Cathedral. Yeah, he, he checked Cathedral. Those bombs. Yeah. I think he just he just power bombed and uh, to scout it early. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I definitely do agree with this, though. Just following the cane before the gravity suit makes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun. Yeah, I mean, there's only three items here. It's unlikely anything to pop. I mean, what do we even need? We need Ice Rod and Ice Rod. Oh, Solsky can do Mire, too. Yeah, yeah I, I would just what? do both dungeons here. Yeah. Um, it's just another... Ice Rod. Well, he needs the Ether, tab Ether Medallion, too. He needs and Ether, yeah. We I could, I could are only looking for Ice Rod. Medallion. So if you're, as you mentioned, Duck, trying to not do all of Meridia, because it's just so much. If you want to try to skip that, what you can do is go to the back first. And Solsky does have some checks that route into that, like potentially like the Smith chain and then just run to the back door of Meridia and do back to front, or maybe just do a couple checks and leave, maybe come back to the front door later for the rest of it. Yeah, again, Smith doesn't really do that with flute. I think you're just better off fluting and isolating it and then just doing back on Meridia. I mean, yeah. especially like one, like I'm generally a proponent of back from Meridia, uh, but especially in one from go, because like, if your situation is, oh, Ice Rod's like in the back, right? Then you just find it and you're done. Uh, where if it's in the front, like you still have to do, you still have to go all the way to Dragon anyways, right? Yeah. So it just, it tends to work out a little better. Granted, if the Ice Rod's in the front, like you would just find it and then go straight to Dragon. So, I mean, it's always, again, just go to where the item is. It's going to be the fastest, but uh, backdooring when you're one from go, just, it, you just have much more upside of being in and out real quick and, and not wasting any time. Right. We also know speed is uh, somewhere. Yeah, somewhere, which means you know we still have top of wreck ship we haven't seen, and he hasn't even been to wreck ship. Um, we have. It could also be. <laughs> it could also very much well just be Main Street, which means we have to get speed. Or the two Bren locations. So. Yeah, I think. I mean, Andy really needs Solsky to avoid Smith's sequence uh, to be able to either, pull this one out. Either that or when it opens up for Andy at the at Upper North Fair for him to make a different decision that also works out. Yeah, I think, like, Andy... For the ice rod. The best situations for Andy, I think, are Upper Wreck Ship or Croc. Assuming he makes the play, right? Like, he can obviously just do what Solsky did. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere in a weird spot in Meridia could be advantageous for Andy, too, because I would expect, fully expect him to start this Ice Palace play, where Solsky is right now, after he's done in uh, Norfair. Yeah. And after that's where the decision point comes in, I think. I know Solsky's kind of a proponent of, like, only making, kind of, like, minimizing your aggressive moves, and he's already, he skipped Croc, he skipped Top of Wreck Ship, so I feel like you know, even though he might usually skip plasma, I feel like this is definitely a seed he would do it. I wouldn't even be surprised to see him like shack to with ice, um, just to you know, like maybe he's he's skipping that grapple in one of those locations he, he skipped. Uh, so since he's been ag aggressive elsewhere, I expect him to be pretty safe in Meridia, and really plasma and shack to are the only things you would ever really consider skipping. So, I, I mean, I think, I mean, granted, we don't know where Ice Rod is. So, it really comes, this is so much going to come down to when Solsky goes to Smith Chain. And honestly, Andy needs Ice Rod to be in a fairly obvious location, I think. 
um, and just get in to go early. Because if it's deep, then Solsky's just going to end up doing um, Smiths at some point anyways. Right. And like I said, I since he's half cleared all the pendants, I don't think he's ever going in there. So and he definitely needs a little, a little lucky find here. That's predicted, not a single poke dash in that cold stair fight. Yeah. Again, you don't with <laughs> Master Sword. Ice and Turtle Rock would be interesting for Andy. Um, Andy is more likely to full clear SM because, like, if you normally think on Link to Fast Randomizer, you can do like a mirror, a portal save for Total Rock to come back if you're making the Ice Rod and Total Rock play. Um, there's an added degree of like complexity here because the second you go back to SM, uh, the portal is going to disappear. So, like, generally you want to make that play once you've full cleared SM, which is a fairly common thing that happens because SM just is so open. Um, and since I feel like Andy is a little bit more likely to, f so I could see if Andy like full clearing SM and then going Turtle Rock to save that portal where like Solsky still still has like weird hangers in S and SM, so I feel like it's less likely he's gonna do that. And he could just, I mean, he could make that play, right? You know, he's he's playing against Andy, he knows he's a strong runner, so he might just feel like it's either got to be here or, you know. It's going to be GG, obviously not knowing that Andy pulled Ped. All right, so Meyer is the first like new location we've seen in a, a little bit here. First new oh, I guess was doing nice it. palace. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> What are our Reds were Desert and Meyer? Oh, uh, yeah, Meyer, cool. yeah, it's the other one. So yeah, this does open Pyramid Fairy too. Solsky's gonna go for the Hover Meyer here, even though he's still looking for items. Now it can always be uh, item on Vidi, which could just be. I mean, he's got two, right? So I don't know how aggressive he's willing to be here. Uh, so he's. I feel like he's likely to come back in. There's the boots for Andy. So yeah, uh, and the decision point for Croc is going to be a big one for Andy here. It's like he's probably not going for it. No, nah, he's not. Well, he could come back through this uh, rising tide, but... Yeah, he, he could come back Trying through. Doesn't seem like a great play. I, I don't think to do that. Yeah, I mean, you can also check it from... You could do Croc, come out, and then check it from the other side. I think it's tomato, tomato. I don't really think there's much of a difference either way. I wonder how much of Solsky just going through the back of it here isn't so much like if it's faster or slower, or it's just like he's got the opportunity to do it, so he's just going to go for it. He's got to be coming back in. I can't, I can't see him bailing. So Andy's getting his wave beam. That's probably worth. Yeah, uh, I mean after Ridley, well, has 
Fantoon and Dragon. Or, yeah. Right. Yeah, but he's x raying so. And Mother Brain. Yeah, but he's got so much ammo. It's sure. It's a pretty quick. I, yeah, I, it's pretty. It's I pretty quick. Play, I think it's you know where it is. It's right there. Just loot and run, one screen transition, then through the doorway. Also makes your baby skip uh, a lot easier. If assuming we find high jump at some point. Um, it's it's probably pretty close to even on on a pure optimal. Uh, level. Yeah, I mean, again, Andy's big problem is this seed is just playing out so obviously. Like, he's just in Solsky's tracks, and it's just, he's just been, he's been behind a whole Brinstar, basically, uh, this entire time. So, the only, his only saving grace is uh, Solsky doesn't have the Smiths. This is a place where he could clean it up. I don't think he's done Catfish, so I feel like it's more like he's just going to continue to Catfish. He could turn around here for Smiths, though. Yeah, did he? Did Solsky do Bonk Rocks? Uh, it looked like he didn't. He just ran past him. Unless he'd already done them somewhere earlier, and I didn't uh, didn't catch it. He certainly hasn't done King's Tomb. Maybe. Yeah, he just he's just maybe leaving just, that portal up there. Maybe just Graveyard Ledge, King's Tomb, Bonk Rocks, and then he's gonna go somewhere else. Yeah, it could else. be. And then uh, probably check the. Aga, especially since Aga is dead. Oh, did we not oh, see he... that on both runners? I know we saw it somewhere. Yeah, I think Solsky did it early. I always just do it late, and I just never think about it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure Solsky checked it right away. And then I'm really curious where Solsky's opting to, to go after this. I think it's Meridia, honestly. Well, no, it's no, oh, sorry. I th I think the play is going to be uh, Pyramid Fairy into Meridia. Or he's going to do Smith into Okay, Pyramid he's going to do Smith. So this is uh, Andy's ace in the hole is pretty much gone. Uh, so at this point, it's just Andy's going to have to find Ice Rod faster than Solsky. I mean, that being said, Andy does have... He's got Pod done, which Solsky doesn't have. And that's it. Solsky also has Fantoon. Those are... Fantoon's definitely quicker than coming back to Pod. Pod's going to be really quick for Solsky. But yeah, I mean, Solsky's firmly in the driver's seat at this point. But, um, you know, there's there's still plenty of things. Uh, you know, we can have... You know, we have the Turtle Rock play sitting out there. Uh, we know Andy is willing to make plays with that that ped play early. Uh, with this being so straightforward, I wouldn't be surprised if Andy feels like he's gonna he needs to make a play to make up for this ped. Yeah, I agree. No frog door strats, unfortunately. That's a that's a downright shame. You have an opportunity to frog door, and you don't do it. But that is a really nice way to, to grab that wave beam without losing much time. Unless you hard lock. <laughs> well, Can you even hard lock? I just, I just, mean, I just mean routing it in with the uh, with the Smith sequence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In general. I don't even know if it's possible to hard lock in Rando or if that's an interaction with the text box. I don't know. Yeah, I've never seen anyone lock in, in Rando. Granted, I've think I'm the only person who's ever done it in Rando, so you know there's that. And he's saving his magic to Fire Rod Cold Stare here. He's gonna do big damage. Yeah, unfortunately didn't get a lot of splash damage on them. If, if you got that spin in the one slash, you can just kind of put them all in the corner. And then uh, hopefully with the Fire Rod, you just hit all of them a couple times because it does Gold Sword damage.
So also give us some uh, Parent Fairy. I was going to say Mirror Stats, but we just went ahead and walked right on the screen. Nice and done. Yeah, I'm always too scared to do that. Although I need to try the setup that uh, I was informed about, where if you, apparently if you don't dash or pump or anything and you just walk normal yeah. movement, like it just times out perfectly and it's easy. Yeah, I think that's the standard way uh, they do it in Hundo. It's one of the few optimizations I never really <laughs> got into myself. So this, I expect this to be the catfish to Meridia. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. Did we see... I didn't even see what uh, what souls he pulled out of Meyer. Did we see both items or? Uh, I completely. Did he go back for the other? I'm, I'm actually. I'm not even 100 sure he went back in. I don't think he did. So that that could be big. If oh, I he didn't go back in. Sitting here the whole time, in the dungeon. Oh my. Don't make me say it. <laughs> All right, so he's going right into this warp. He's got a ton of health, though. Doesn't really have to worry about these bombers. They don't even bother him. All right, that's one item. Now, if there's if Aishra's not in here, this is just more time Andy's Andy's losing. Yeah, I think it was the item on the boss. No, there's a small key on the boss. Oh, it was a small key. Okay. Yeah, that Oops. one I know for sure. There's the, uh, there's the ice rod. I quit. I swear to God, I quit. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, I know what you're saying, but... Do uh, I just forfeit right now? Like, <laughs> do I just, just... Andy, I'm like to yeah. congratulate Andy on his top four placement. Because <laughs> there's no way I can compete with this chicanery. Honestly, like... I hate everything so much. Like, I just... I, <laughs> It boils down to, to what I mentioned, uh, I think, an hour and a half ago when Andy was clearing pendant dungeons for the pendants and no items. Uh, he's just being thorough. Like, so I mean, made very I, like... few calculated skips, but they're skips. And Andy has made none. I'm, I'm, like, I, I can't mean, think like... of a single, like, skip or aggressive play that Skipping... Andy's made. Especially since it's also like out. I said, like... I said Solsky's pretty good at like minimizing his risk, right? So he skipped, yeah. he already skipped Rick. I was saying he's going to clear out all of this stuff in Meridian. He's just still going to do. And I was saying this before, like you could just not even touch Meridian. You don't have to touch Meridian to see. Uh, speed is probably here, right? Which is which is logically required, but who cares? So like, I feel like it's just hubris on Solsky's side where he's like, oh, I got Godmire. I just want to hover it. And then like, that's fine if you want to do that, but you got to go back in like at this point, like you just have to. And I'd like, like I'd Solsky would have, I mean, assuming he, I mean, he did Smith's after Meyer, assuming he makes the same plays, right? He'd be ahead by a, a big chunk right now. So, I mean, like, he's not, he's going to do all of Meridia. Like, I mean, he's only a little bit ahead, right? I mean, Andy's not even going to do Pyramid Fairy or any of that other stuff. Yeah. At this point, Andy's going to come straight. Well, no, he's not going to do Meridia. He's going to do this last. He's just gonna go to his dungeons. Yeah, he'll do a last, hoping for better movement. Like his dungeons, he's only got TR right now. As long as he's still got, yeah, he's gonna do TR. He'll he'll do Dragon. He's gonna do Dragon after GT, right? 
come back out, reset, do Fantoon, do Mother Brain. Done. GG. So Solsky's going to have all of his um, G4 bosses done here. Short. Well, he actually he has all his G4 bosses yeah. done, but, you know, he's... I, I mean, I was saying, like, he's very unlikely to do these dun these pendants like I, I guess maybe i mean I, I think he'd probably clean up meyer before he goes back in the pendants just because like that's his biggest risk right but he's doing all of meridia and that's that's going to be the game yeah at the same time that you say that's his biggest risk but like that's something you just assume like he knows he's dead if it's if he goes back to meyer i mean like, I, after full clearing meridia it just always like, feels like, it's like there's got to be something meridia right meridia is just so big yeah. Um, I, I would make the assumption that my speed booster was in Meridia. Like, yeah, I, I, I fully expect that. So if for some reason, if we'd seen the ice rod and it was speed locked, I would be more inclined. Well, you, you'd have to. The speed booster would have to be uh, not in Meyer in that case, I guess, because it locked the hook shot. But... Uh, no, but we have boots, so it could it could be in Meyer. Boots were. We're in Norfair. We're not hookshot a lot. No. Okay. Right. Uh, ice. Ice gives you. I think uh, ice gives it to you logically in normal, right? Morph oh, bombs. Morph sure bombs. And morph and bombs. They were in the front of Swamp. Yeah, they were. They were in the front. I keep thinking morph is behind hook, but it's just in. I don't always know what ice does in normal, but. <laughs> I know for ice definitely gives you um, alpha power bombs. I'm pretty yep. sure it gives you. Upper Norfair, because like all you have to do, you just have to freeze the guy, and you can wall jump, right? Like that's that's yeah. perfectly within the, the normal skill set. It's a little awkward to, you know, bait the guy over there and, and do it, but it's it's certainly. But yeah, if nothing else, it's certainly morph ball does it. And then, yeah, wherever the speed is, is your logical uh, wreck ship access. Although, actually, gravity is uh, logical wreck ship access through yeah. Forgotten Highway. <laughs> or with the uh, IBJ from the moat, because you can, yeah, you have gravity suit, you can drop yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, IBJ, yeah, yeah, not, uh, not <laughs> HBJ. Not HBJ, correct. No. It's yeah, one of the, the HBJ is actually one never, is one that... It's Sorry, not right. even hard logic, because it's just CWJ and hard logic, and then, then that's that's it. You can always get over there. Nice double missiles in a watering hole there. If uh if speed's not in Meridia, then where where is speed? It could be in Turtle Rock. It could want you to yeah. do Turtle Rock and come back out. That would be the ultimate hilarity. Uh, Solsky could also make this turtle. I wouldn't be surprised if Solsky makes the Turtle Rock play. Uh, I feel like he's not going to do wreck shit because it's so nothing's been behind Hookshot, and that's the only thing that's been behind Speed. Uh, so he's probably sussed out. It's pretty late. So he, I feel like he's not going to come back to wreck ship till he finds speed. If he does, if he does find speed, I could definitely see the wreck ship play. In which case, this is just going to get worse. Honestly, Solsky's best bet is his internal rock because he won't do wreck ship. Yeah, I agree. And it's really like the same item density as the upper wreck ship. So even from like a purely like. Probability standpoint. 
not even looking at the matchup, that's uh would be a smart play for him. Solsi is leaving Meridia. No no shack or plasma checks. He did opt to skip those. Yeah, I don't know. It feels like I said I've I've heard Solsi talk about before, just about kind of managing. Or maybe, maybe it's just because he's you know he does respect Andy a lot and just feels like he's got to go. Um, obviously, doesn't know he did ped. So, uh, you know, Solsi. It was a very straightforward seed. Uh, honestly, the the only like juke in this seed. Oh no, Andy. <laughs> Safety door. I guess he's just not checking that last chest. <laughs> he does have a powder, too. All right, we're good. <laughs> well, hopefully that's not a sword there, because that would speed him up pretty substantially. Yeah, I mean, it's probably not going to matter. It, uh, yeah, it won't, but it'd be it'd be a bit of a feels bad. You didn't have enough health to comfortably check the last check of laser bridge, and it was something that would have helped you quite a lot. I don't know if they're drinking, drinking, but we do have a poll going to see how long this big gulp on Soul Suicide is going to last. Andy, not poke dashing Trinax. I'm losing time. I'm very upset about it. But yeah, as I was saying, like it's really straightforward seat. I think the only juke in this seat, I mean, besides the kerfuffle that was the beginning with the Aga and whatever. Yeah. It, it was just so, like I said, they were completely each other's paths. Um, you know, Andy decided to do ped, which was slightly questionable to majorly questionable, honestly. I mean, it was a very narrow down seed, so it, it felt like it could be, but yeah, not, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of it. And then like, it just like, each item led into the, the other one, and, like, the only thing that could have been off the beaten path, really, was was that Ether. I feel like Ether might have gotten with me a little bit, but, you know, they both sniffed it out. Uh, you know, Ice Rod is just in one of the dungeons you need to do, and then then you're done. You don't have to touch Meridia or anything like that. I mean, you could have done Meridia before the dungeons, maybe? Like, and that could have been, like, a, a defensible plan. But, um... Yeah, I mean, it was just... Pretty pretty linear seed overall, except for except for Ether, and they both got that easily. So So this might be as I was saying, there's not a there's not an item on Helma here. Um, this could be the green medallion. This doesn't actually get any faster. This could also just be like a It's not gonna get faster and I'm starting to have to dig out odd locations So I might as well just do this just to double check that you know, I, I count it right because uh, yeah. that's always a, a concern So uh, coming here, yeah, definitely make like I, I was saying this for a while that I, I could see Solsi coming here sooner than later yeah, but I, f there. I feel like he's likely to dig out this green pendant. Either that, there's there's also the thing where it's like, uh, you see this a little bit more on the, the vanilla randomizer than, than this. It's like, I just have to, I just need to think. I might as well just do a dungeon that's not going to get any faster at any point, you know, just so I can sit here and kind of weigh my options. Um, so, you know, that's also something that comes up every once in a while. Meanwhile, Andy into his GT. Uh, let's yeah. see. So he's already halfway up this thing. He's still got two bosses. This is going to be probably high 4x, if not low, low 5x. Yeah, there's a big key already. He's going to get this extra key down here. As we said, Andy, the top link to the past player, so he's going to have no no issues with this low percent uh, GT climb here. He's got silvers too. For this low percent with blue mail and eleven hearts and silvers. Yeah, it's <laughs> low percent. Just smash a short. Okay, that's that's all low percent means. I like the best. I mean, he's got yeah, a boomerang too. That. Okay, that's technically.
Solsky opting not to do the Eastern play. Yeah. Um, Which, you know, it's, it's, I think it's like just as defensible from where he is to do it or not do it. By going yeah, to Brockmeyer yeah. here, I think that, I think this makes a little bit more sense. Thinking that maybe not doing Brock. No, he's oh, doing he TR. To, TR. Okay. Yeah, I, I definitely get yeah. this. Yeah, At same. this point, I think he feels like he's in trouble. Uh, he probably thinks that if it is in Meyer, he's... Uh, it, it definitely comes up more in, like, the 1v1s versus, uh, like, the big, big group races, where it's just, like... When you make one of those plays, you just go, like, if it's there, GG. You know? Uh, and, and you can't really worry about it too much. Uh, the, the Meyer, like... I think in a vacuum, the Meyer skip's defensible. I think since... I mean... The only things he skipped were things that only are in logic with speed. I guess Croc was in logic with the boots giving you wave also puts it in logic, right? So Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm kind of dinging him a little bit for skipping wreck ship, and that's his risky play, but technically it's not in logic about the speed, even though we have something that required speed, but again, he could have just forgotten about that. It, so many times I found something back there, I don't even think about it, so. Yeah, or you think with the opposite mindset of, instead of, like, speed is in logic somewhere because I used it, in quotes, to get something else. Uh, instead of thinking like that, you think, well, I don't have speed, so I shouldn't do the things that it locks, even though I've already got something behind it. Yeah, and like I said, speed could be... And, and effectively, it was... I mean, we don't even know where, where it is, right? So it, it definitely is late in the seed, right? The only thing... for We know for a fact the only thing behind speed logically is hookshot. Um, so that may keep him out of wreck ship. Uh, I, I mean, I think worst case scenario, he finds, like, space jump, right? Like... Yeah, oh, grapple. What? No, hold on. But at this point, yeah, wreck ship is in logic of gravity, right? I said that earlier. I forgot. Yeah. So yeah, that doesn't that doesn't even help. Well, space <laughs> it's uh, technically speed uh, lock. It's it is speed lock. You you are correct. I have a suspicion that Solsky will not be picking it up. Hmm. I mean, I'd pick it uh, if. I, I probably wouldn't pick it up, right? Because you're coming to do this first and then just high jump for baby skip, right? What? I'm saying you do GT before uh, Mother Brain because you don't have everything from Mother Brain, in which case you're still looking for like high jump. So I would still open oh. it up and then you get space. So. Sure. Well, I mean, depending on how long his, his search well, takes. Well, there is uh, that, yes. You might not be <laughs> at that location when Andy finishes and. Not it was more of a theoretical thing, but... And if he checks anything we haven't seen, he might he might just pick up a sword or a sword and speed. Yeah, I mean, Andy does have a fairly long tail here. He's still got to kill Dragon. He's still got to kill Fantan. They're going to be relatively quick, but, like, all in all, that's going to be four or five minutes with, like, running there and speed stuff. Booster. Speed boost. I mean, the space jump is going to help him uh, with, with the Dragon kill, uh, yeah. getting through Coliseum back and forth, because no speed for any halfies. Yeah. We, we did find it, at least, though. We did Lot find it. Oh, we found speed. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, and Andy, no. obviously, in go mode, stole the key instead. That's hilarious. <laughs> Uh, Andy had a very low Ganon fight. All right. Did he get a fairy? He did not I get a fairy. So. I guess it is low percent after all. Yeah. Uh, it does have lamp and silver. Yeah. Masters so, were Ganon's the worst. 
Yeah, the big thing is uh, because he's got lamp and silvers, he can kind of abuse the cape here in the first phase if he wants to. Um, but I mean, he he came in with two hearts. He was he was cutting that pretty aggressive. I'm kind of he had powder. I'm surprised he didn't powder uh, the fairies right before um, Moldorn. Like I know Andy's. You know, a really confident Ganon player, uh, but like, you've you've been playing this for two and a half hours. You've just played another seed in front of this. Like, you're so tired. Like, and Ganon, like, for, for a top player, Ganon is pretty straightforward. Uh, even the Master Sword fight's not that bad. But like, Ganon will kill you. The, like, with one mistake, just any mistake, he will just absolutely kill you. So, I always just I always just take the fairies. Like. It's the seeds are so very, especially in SMZ3 versus like just a link to the past randomizer, they're very rarely going to come down to being that close. You're more likely to lose because of dying to Ganon twice. <laughs> oh my god, he almost ate that fire bat. <laughs> oh, oh, now he's got. Bad. Yeah, this is the worst part. Like, you really don't want these fire bats on screen. Okay, finally gets him kind of gets him into this pattern here now. That's actually very well done. That is that is really difficult. It's again, Annie's just so good at these like weird oddball situations. Yeah, oh, I saw that dang. coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought he was gonna land on top of him. All right, didn't um, this would have been the last shot? Didn't miss it though. There we go. All right. All right. Get your single G's in chat for Andy. I finally get to see what's in this mysterious chest in Turtle Rock. Oh, my. It a key. Oh, it's a key. Now, interesting uh, soul scheme. Yeah. Go ahead. Didn't take the mirror portal here. Like, again, well... I, what else does he have to check in? That would he be able to save that portal? Apart from... Meyer, Meyer and all the pendants. The only thing he's got left in SM is... Um, Croc? He, he does have... He, see, this is what I was talking about. He's got... Croc isn't as bad as Croc, the other things that he do. Croc isn't as bad for Solsky as going back to Meyer. I think this makes more sense than doing that. Yeah, I mean... It, it, I'm sure it doesn't feel great. Look, in his mind, none if you if you great. just say it's not Meyer in his mind, right? I mean, obviously it is. If you just say, like, it's not, right? He probably doesn't feel that bad. Because at this point, he's got that speed in Turtle Rock. You know, it could be the speed lock locations. It could be, you know, it could be something pretty gross. Uh, skipping Croc kind of a pretty likely play from Andy too like he's probably not yeah. feeling great but he's not feeling bad the only thing he's the only thing he's like I feel absolutely terrible is if it's in Meyer which is the case and we're kind of seeing that play out but yeah I mean that's the thing with the turtle like I was saying before like you really before you make the turtle rock play you really want to have like SM cleaned out or at least like only the weird like one-offs like maybe the speed checks plasma shack x-ray like those are the only ones you really want hanging before you make the turtle rock play because then you can save your portal and then just kind of commit to staying a link to the past because like i feel like 80 percent of my seeds i have sm full cleared or near full cleared you know one or two hangers maybe uh, just especially depending on what items i'm missing yeah i mean sometimes that's as much of a killer as anything, though. Just full clearing SM every seed, you're going to take some losses due to just doing all of SM every time. I know that's my experience, at least. Yeah, I mean, it depends on the texture of the seed. Like, I mean, you can very easily just have one thing in Meyer, or sorry, one thing in Meridia, one thing in Wreckship, one thing in Lower Norfair, right? And then it's like, well, you got to do everything. Like, my last, my last race was pretty slow, but it was like, there was one thing everywhere. There was nothing skippable. Um, so, like, it took a while, but it was like, yeah, you had, you had to do all of it. So I, I really didn't, I felt pretty good at the end of it. So it's just, the thing is, like, the SM, it's just, 
there's so much in SM and like each location is it's not like a link to the past where you can kind of do like a bunch of stuff and then maybe you have to come back because you're missing an item or something. It's just like you get to Meridia and you full clear it. Right? I mean there's Shack and Plasma and Meridia, but like most of it is full clear. There's not a lot of there's like the half wreck ship skip that we saw. I mean you can kind of do half of Brinstar if you do like pink down to crate or up to wreck ship or something like that, but SM is just so much of a like just go to this area and full clear it. So mm -hmm. And it's 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 just very meta too because again there's just so much stuff there. It's always the SM stuff is always the most likely answer. Right. Yeah. Especially with, you know, no keys and dungeons and maps and compasses. They're all items. Yeah, I mean like I was saying before, like we were looking before at like just swamp versus like swamp is like one of the juicier dungeons, right? It's six items and it's relatively slow. Like I said, Red Tower to Crate, it's like there's three in Red Tower. There's an optional fourth at X-Ray. Spazer's five. And then you have three in Crade, that's eight. And then you have three in um, High Jump Area, that's 11. Right? And you can do all of that in like four minutes. Right? Like, there's nothing in A Link to the Past that that's, that's, that's that, that dense or that juicy, right? That, that you can do that quickly. For like, blind side in the well. Yeah, I mean, even like Paradox, you think like, oh, Paradox, like Paradox is like the big, huge one, right? And that's seven items with Spiral Cave, right? And going all the way from, that's about the same amount of time as it takes to do, you know, Red Tower all the way down to Crate and, and High Jump. And like, there's more items there. <laughs> and you kill a boss, which is required. So it's just like, the value in SM is just generally through the roof on these things. Like, up, Upper Wreck Ship's the one that like, there's a bunch of stuff there, but it's kind of slow. And like they're a little bit spread out, so it's not actually that great. Which is why it's one of the more popular skips. There's so few skips in this. This is probably the X-ray check for Solsky too. So, uh, nice in tune kill, nice and quick. I think you were right on the money, Duck, and you said around 240 finish for Andy. That's what it's looking like here. Maybe uh, a I'm actually high of that. I was way over. I was saying like yeah. high 240s, low 250s, but uh, yeah, this the Fantoon Dragon is really quick. He also he had a really quick GT with uh, the key just I mean, being on the right side. We're not going to have, uh, not going to baby skip from Andy. No speed booster for the escape. We'll slow him down a little bit, but uh, yeah, I mean he's he's definitely push. in the 240. Like, um, it's about eight minutes from this point with like perfect equipment from a top player. So, Completely missed it. Did Solsky check uh, X-ray? Yeah, I think he did on the way down. I uh, was looking at Andy. Yeah, a little bit of a, a grimace there. Not happy with the seed. He'll probably be even less happy when he finds out where the ice beam actually is. Ice rod, not ice beam. Yeah, ice rod. I was like, <laughs> ice was uh, ice was like super Same early. <laughs> ice got us the lamp <laughs> way back in the in the before times at the beginning of this this thing. But yeah, anyone just joining us? Basically, the short version of this seed was. Uh, very neck down early. Uh, Andy went for ped, pulled it for nothing. 
Uh, we ended up having a more fall in Village of Outcasts after a required Aga. And uh, Solsky at that point was just ahead for most of the seed, and Solsky made the choice to skip Meyer. Uh, he had a God Meyer, hovered it, and it ended up being the Ice Beam in there. Uh, like I said, I, I think the Meyer skip certainly a defensible thing to do. My main thing was he was he was being pretty aggressive all over the place. So, you know, when you're when you're being he skipped Meyer, skipped Wreck Ship, skipped Croc. And I think that I mean really any of those uh could have could have been it. I mean Andy never went to Wreck Ship at all. But I mean you know, before that happened, it was looking if if he could have it was looking likely of just going to be in Meridia, in which case Solsky would have won this by a mile. So again, just go where the items are. It's like that's that's the answer. Maybe the takeaway is uh, hover should be banned because it broke the seed, made it unfair. Yeah, here's Solsky finally digging out these pendant dungeons. At this point, is does he see the ice rod before Andy dot duns here? I think he does Meyer last because I think in his mind it's he, that Meyer play was the entire race. Uh, like I said, it's if it's there, I lose, so I'm not going to bother coming back. So I feel like he's. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a, a pad pull on, by Sol on Soul Sweep when Andy's not dunning, honestly. Oh yeah, I, I think because we never had, we never found the book. Before. Like, yeah, I think we'll definitely see Eastern before uh, before Wreck Ship or the return to Meyer from Soul Sweep. Alright, Andy into his mother brain fight. Solsky finishing up this blind. Do we see the stand up? I didn't see Andy take off Varia, so. Looks like we are going to do a stand up. Yeah. Makes sense. I mean, once you know the pitfalls and you've been through each of the ways it can go wrong. Tends to be not too bad. To, uh, yeah, having to X-ray is also a big thing. Oh yeah, absolutely. There's also the uh, I've been playing this for two hours and forty minutes, and I'm very tired. And <laughs> if anything goes wrong here, like, I mean, like, Andy could die here, and he would he would still win. But there's no way he thinks he's this far ahead. Yeah. Again, this was a this was such like Andy probably doesn't feel good at all here. Like he, he doesn't. You know, you can even see kind of by the expression, you just kind of like seem kind of checking this race time. Probably expecting the dot done to come in pretty soon. Because, you know, he did that, like I said, this was a very straightforward seed. I think the only juke really was that Smith sequence. You know, Andy found that relatively quickly. But, you know, he did all he did, he did ped. So he, he's probably thinking either Solsky, um, you know, missed, uh, missed the, the Smith sequence, if anything, if he's not done. And that's why he's uh, still has a chance here. I mean, that said, Andy did do uh, basically none of Wreck Ship and none of Meridia, so it's hard to feel bad about a seed where you skipped, like, two entire areas. <laughs> yeah, sure, but again, like I was saying, it's like... 
pretty easy just to imagine Solsky. Well, they were they were in each other's footsteps for ninety nine percent of the seed, right? Yeah, I mean, basically yeah. the only deviations was, I mean, Solsky did the uh, the Death Mountain thing earlier, which we kind of just forgot about it, and then Andy did p the Ped. But besides that, they were just following each other. Uh, Solsky didn't do Smith sequence right away. Andy did, but Solsky cleaned it up relatively quickly. Like they're, like I said, like it's just being so straightforward. Like if there's ever a ski seed where you're going to skip Rex Ship and Radio, this is it. You know, so. And he's probably feeling pretty good, but again, like, you know, Solsky's a top guy, too, and, you know, he's looking over at that timer. Like, you wouldn't be surprised to see, see a finish. Leadox room without high jump boots is uh, the worst. <laughs> yeah, it's very awful. Yeah, I guess uh, Andy took off screw attack at one point. I guess he did it for uh, the Zeb skip. He did have uh, full beam though. Like you could just go with the the morph on morph skip. Um, just use a couple supers on the first Zebatite, get to the second one. And the, uh, the climb of not so shame today. No speed for Andy. Granted, it was, <laughs> it was right there into a rock, but in go mode at that point, so. Yeah, he was in the same room with it twice. That, yeah, technically true. <laughs> That is going to be a GG for Andy. Get your GG's in chat. It is a 241.07. Yeah, and Solsky realizes, probably probably knows exactly where that, that ice rod is now. Yeah, I mean, coming into this one, I, I, I wouldn't have, have bet that either one of these players would have finished before the other one was in go mode. Just both really strong. Uh, just, like I said, go to the, where the items are. Uh, Solsky... Solsky made it a couple plays today, just didn't work out. Andy, Andy played it honestly ultra safe and um, ended up coming up with the win because of it. So GG's to Andy. And we are now joined by Andy. GG. GG. Nice, uh, nice sign. Yo, thanks. <laughs> uh, I, I a pen in my desk, and then I, I found the. The back of an envelope <laughs> as my paper. It was great. I thought it said, oh my god, red. And it took me like, I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, but uh, in the in the battle of the 32-ounce Big Gulp versus Coke, uh, Coke wins tonight. So, GG's. <laughs> I had Coke in mind, too. But I had, like, probably way more alcohol than Andy did. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Shows me a picture of, like, this, like, one shot, like... I lost track, man. <laughs> but it was uh it it like made that start really go down well. Um Andy and I were chatting about it. It's probably the probably the most clown start I've seen in uh in SFC three. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen like a lamp from Ice Beam required to like a flute on Pyramid Ledge. I I had one close in my last match. It was Aga just gross to screw attack to Glove to hook shot to yeah. back the village of outcasts. So it, it, the 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 randomizer seems to be a uh, kind of mad at people in this tournament yeah. so far. But yeah, I mean, it was. It was just, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was gonna say it's just a you know a pretty fast seed after that, pretty free almost. Like right, it's like yeah. Hindsight with like you can play hindsight any day with an SMZ three seed. It's pretty free, right? Once uh, Andy's like, oh, it's a misery mire. And I have flashbacks of uh, that 2018 2019 tournament, guys, where uh, I skipped the same skip and it had Varia uh, against Andy, <laughs> and Andy came back and reverse swept me in that game too. And then it was the same thing. I just probably overcalculated, thought I was a little behind because that uh, that bow placement. And I was like, I need to catch a couple of minutes and. You know what? This is probably the best part. I really didn't like seeing that Bicky there. I was like, it's going to tempt me. I know I'm going to go for it. And then, you know, it is what it is. It's fine. Yeah, 
the bow was the bow wasn't too because I was saying like pod's not especially if you were able to like snag mitts then like you would have done one trip up death mountain and Andy would have done two and then mm-hmm. it's about the same as pod so like well it could have been like a lot of things up there right so yeah, once yeah, I saw that glove I was like pog right well, because so, then it's then it's like West Dark will access immediately if I want it but I chased it because I'm like what happens if it's double glove right like then that's Titan's first trip immediate advantage if it's more if Andy's chasing that I'm just gonna go to West Dark World right so I didn't. I I had in back of my mind, but I'm like, just don't be Bo. And it was Bo. I was like, well, there's a crystal. Yeah, that's God. So my, the thing I was confused about was like, I think the obvious play was Death Mountain, and then you you made the pod, play, which is perfectly defensible play. Like I think yeah. it was fine, uh, trying to juke the obvious play, and then it felt weird that you went back to the obvious play instead of chasing the glove to Dark World, which to like Village of Outcast, which felt weird to me. Again, I need a confirmation of like where Andy was basically because I know Andy wouldn't have went made the pop play and he would have went for that East Death Mountain because it's pretty obvious, right? Like you have yeah, here, yeah, up yeah. There, it's pendant, but you can dip the front uh, just more item locations there. And then once I saw it was pop bow locked, I was like, hmm, it's either very late or it's going to be now. Right. And then I saw that glove. I'm like, what happens if that's Titans? Right. So uh, again, once I got the glove there, I felt pretty vindicated and uh, it was just unfortunate that it ended up being a, a bow. Right. So. I think it would have been cooler if it was like another item, but yeah, that's uh, that's all good. Yeah, on uh, the other side, we had Andy who made the uh, the full ped. Um, yeah, he told which, me. Yeah, full, felt full clown. Can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, with with the seed like narrowing down, so like even when we you were killing Moldorm, I was like, that feels a little odd because it was just for, and I was like, unless he's thinking ped already, which feels weird, and like it wouldn't have been that long to back back, back up into it, so. Uh, like it felt kind of defensive, but if it felt, especially against you know Solsky, who's, who's one of the top runners, it felt very conservative. So, uh, what what made you go to ped? And obviously, you had that plan early. Uh, yeah, going up, I was like, okay, well, I'm like a glove or a hook shot and a bow from ped. So like that's probably gonna happen sooner rather than later. And then it happened like two minutes after I had that thought in my head. Oh yeah, got uh, confirmation bias. I'll do it to you every time. <laughs> I'm a bow away, and uh, then it's there. You're like, oh no. Yeah, and then like you know, knowing if I found the bow, I'd be able to do pod and eastern back to back with the mirror. Uh, just made it like super free. Yeah, um, it was honestly like, if you're gonna do it, you routed it. Like, like you were basically you were only behind the Brinstar loop at the end of it. Like you were ahead for right. most of it. Uh, you made the, the the flippers play early to get the hobo for the master sword, which is kind of early advantage. Uh, but like, yeah, you were like a minute to third because it was so linear. You, were, you we could like actually tell who was ahead. And so you were like a minute ahead, and then you went down to like about five minutes behind, five six minutes behind, and you stayed that way until uh, the Meyer play. So yeah, and I figured like you know even. Even without ped, like you really were running out of stuff to do, kind of until the morph ball showed up, you know, south of Thieves Town. But like leading up to that point, it was like, okay, you have uh, seven things in Village of Outcast, two things in Skull Woods, uh, you know, like four things probably in North Dark World in the back of Escape or whatever. But there's really not that much left. So like, ped isn't a terrible odds play. Yeah, we were wondering if you were going to nose up after the morph. But at that point, you're just because you're going to do the front four of Thieves, right? And then it was like it ended up basically being it was almost like a green pendant uh, Thieves Town at that point, um, you know, with uh, yeah. and Hera being basically sunk cost, right? So we were wondering if you were going to nose up. But at that point, I think it's it's pretty defensible just to chase. Because um, like a, if you just had a green pendant Thieves Town, right, that's a pretty common play, especially if it's too deep. And then you have the really nice turn in combo with doing skull into a uh, ped. Yeah. And then like, you know, from there I was like, okay, well, if I get the item in the back of skull woods, I'll just check ped and save and quit the SM. But I had to go back to the front for the big chest. So I was like, okay, I'll just do the rest of the stuff up here that I have left, I guess. Um, but man, this was a really gross start. Yeah. Gross start into like it was pretty straightforward. Uh, I, I think the only juke in the seed really was uh, Ether at Smith Chain. You both sniffed it out. Um, and then Solsky made the only thing, like, I, I feel like chat was thinking I was a little hard on you. The only th- reason I was surprised you skipped the Meyer, uh, Solsky is because I know you've talked a lot about risk management a lot, and you've already you already skipped Wreck Ship, you skipped um, Croc, 
so I was surprised at the the skip at Meyer too. So I think uh, with Croc, it wasn't in Logic yet, so that was the skip there because I didn't even do Ice Crumble. Uh, Wreck Ship wasn't in Logic. It was similar, like Andy and I were chatting. It wasn't in Logic for like ever. Gravity actually put that in Logic, right? And the, the boots put Croc in Logic. Boots to yeah, uh, boots wave to wave. wave. Yeah, but it was that... after the fact though, right? So uh, that was a thing. Um, I you know I'm like thinking to myself, you know, Wreck Ship is late. It could be there, but. Uh, I feel like Andy in this seat probably was playing similar and probably was putting off ship, so I was felt pretty comfortable with that. Um, and then it came down to Meyer, and I think what really drove that decision making was twofold, right? Was getting Ether just before, um, then opened up TR as an option for another five ish items, maybe six, depending on if I get all the items there. And then I had Gravity acquired recently as well, so that's another 16 to 18, depending on if I want to do full uh into i could even go and do croc afterwards with that wave right so i had a lot of outs available still that were like kind of rough spots that i felt like andy probably put off as well which <laughs> you know he showed me his kind of like his list and it, i was pretty much cor- collaborating because it was like yeah that's all the stuff that I, I felt like he skipped so i just kept moving forward towards it and then uh again it just it's just kind of one of those edge case calls uh you get that big key in the in the bridge i'm like just don't be at the bridge. And then was at the bridge. I'm like, mm. yeah. Never, it, you never want to see the big key at the bridge yeah, when you're one item from go. And then like, like Solsky's, it could be on, Solsky's it could be on process. Video, right? Yeah, it could be on Viddy. Yeah. Uh, I think I should have went. That process was exactly the reason why I didn't bail because I was yeah. like, man, I don't want to spend like ten minutes doing all of Meridia. I don't want to mm-hmm. spend eight minutes doing all of Rex Ship. I don't want to go to croc having to yeah. loop back through the cathedral because i don't have speed booster uh <laughs> um and so it was yeah it was just uh you know if it's here it's gonna save me like 20 minutes uh yeah you know it did <laughs> we were we were kind of expecting the well i'm one for go i might as well just see if it's on viddy and then come back in and clean it up although i, I guess thought about it but yeah, yeah no i again there's this you know, if you want to play the stock game, it's like two items versus 30 ish that I have out there. Uh, if you want yeah. to include every location, it's probably 40, right? So, sure. Do I roll the dice and say I have two there? And if I am behind because of pod, do I risk that? Like, I'm not expecting Andy to do pet in the seats. So, I don't know that I'm like six minutes behind in hindsight, right? So, I'm like, you know what? I think it's time to make a, that play. It is, it is a tough, uh, top 16 matchup. And I think it just kind of speaks to the respect I have for Andy and just kind of make that call. And just be like, you know what? I don't feel I could play. See, I feel like I could play both, but I'm going to lean more on a little bit aggressive and see what happens. And uh, again, kind of just kind of bites in the ass, right? Like it's uh, <laughs> you could joke about like plot armor and anything like that, but at the end of the oh, day, call. <laughs> yeah, at the end of the day, it's the call I was made and just didn't work out, right? Yeah, I'd like to congratulate Andy on his top four finish. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, Dude, I I hadn't even looked at the bracket for this yet, and I was like, "Wow!" Oh yeah, like, that's right. My side of the to... bracket was just literally a gauntlet. Uh, oh yeah, m- me and Solsky into you, I guess. Uh, <laughs> and then yeah. and then Aussie, and then like you know Ivan Asder or Hydropower. Like that's a <laughs> that's a rough string of like four matches. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not only that, but I think like we had the. Uh... The mid level players were really strong on our side too. We had Ace and Mammon too, and Bressingham, and like all, all if, if our side is just ridiculous. So, Paul Bear Bunny, like it's just everyone, like anyone could have lost anyone on our side very easily. It's it's a murderer's row over here. There's a lot of good runners now in SMZ3, right? Like, a yeah, lot of, I mean, the, the a lot of skill going on. In the the game, skill floor so. has come way up since yeah. the last couple of years, and it's it's really just it's. A lot of these are just going to be coin flips, and it's just the way it's going to go. So I don't really like the term coin flip in Randall because I feel it's like it kind of diminishes, you know, the play call and the skill. But I, I get what you mean there, kind of thing. But uh, yeah, Andy and I were actually supposed to like you know trash talk you too. So I was just going to put out there that uh, you know what, Andy, good luck at uh, against Aussie in a couple of days. Uh, you're going <laughs> to. I mean, well, also on the wow. flip side, I'm trash not giving Aussie best. the redemption chance. You know, like not a chance. <laughs> so. So I mm-hmm. doubly have to be duck, not only oh, for really, not yeah. only for the bragging rights, but I also can't yeah. give Ossie the pleasure. I thought your next opponent was you, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I really, I for really that. wanted to, I really want to face off against Aussie too, just because I can just like hopefully get that whole. <laughs> just Aussie everyone's carry. just looking like, oh yeah, and you, <laughs> just looking straight to Aussie jerks. <laughs> 
I mean, just I'm gonna put a door on my back. I think Andy and I know the pecking order. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You know what you did? I told Andy you, he did. You did beat Aussie, so I gave Andy all my notes on you. So get owned. <laughs> did you just say is an idiot? Like, <laughs> uh more or less. Yeah, uh, I don't. I don't need to know that. Questionable so. decision making sometimes is good at both games. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm just beaming. No, I, I, Ace is just staying quiet. He's like, man, I don't want to get involved in this. Yeah. Like, this, this is just a, this is just a thrashing right now. Ace knows I love taking up all the air in these in these interviews. We've he's been through the gauntlet before. Yeah. But yeah, again, a really great match. Uh, again, good game to Andy. Real fun losing against a bro. Like I, Again, it, it sucks I'm out. It's probably my earliest exit in an SMZ3 tournament, which kind of hurts a little bit. But uh, you know what it is? What it is. Again, we talked about that. The skill ceiling is a lot higher now. And uh, you know what? It's, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. I mean, Are... technically, you can just blame Duck for this because Duck beating Aussie just kind of threw the world into an imbalance. <laughs> um, <laughs> I definitely blame that. Blame my loss on Duck since I had to play Aussie. <laughs> See, I actually, I'm like weird like that. I actually want to play like Aussie. I always like playing like really, really good players. And again, with a tournament, again, I'm going to call it out again, guys. Like it's just uh, to the respect I have for. A lot of the runners in this tournament is just, you know what, everyone's good. Like, I think, Doc, we've talked about everyone's good in this in this yeah. bracket, right? Like, it's like, I can get a roll on a, on a different seating and not get, like, uh, Andy, but I saw, like, Lack Attack first match. I was like, that's not ideal. <laughs> like, and I looked at everyone else, I'm like, I guess it doesn't really get any better anyways, and it doesn't get any worse. So it's like, you know what I mean? It's just, it is what it is. So yeah, everyone, like I said, the skill fours come come yeah. way up, and it's just it's it's it comes. You can't blow anyone out of the water anymore. Um, nope. You can't just you can't like full clear and and still win by thirty minutes like you used to uh, back when. Just I mean, being good at two games at the same time is is such a, a high bar, and everyone's just gotten so good. So. Yeah, but uh, like I said, you two are still still up there. Uh, I think everyone has you guys uh, towards the top of their their mental ranking. So this is always a fun one. Like I said, it came down to the one decision. Um, so it's the way the way it goes. But I think we we covered everything with Solsky leaving and Mandy dunking on me. So <laughs> sounds like a good interview. I don't know about you. All right, live live on Twitch Television. When are we racing, Doug? Tuesday. Uh, sure. Okay, cool. <laughs> he think. wants the day practice. You know what? If it was if it was Doc and I, Doc would be like Monday, Monday, Monday. You know, yeah, but he's know. like Andy. I don't know, man. I gotta get some RBO. I gotta, yeah. I gotta practice this. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta get it up. Yeah. Oh, you gotta get it up. Okay. Yeah, it's real awkward, but you know, it is what it is. Hoping you weren't gonna touch that one, but <laughs> you saw it and you had to go for it. Oh, I did it. I did it. <laughs> All right, go go finish your drinks. <laughs> you need to. I I did, man. It's it's gone. Like again, <laughs> it was like four or five shots in there with a full can of coke. That's that's long gone. All long right, gone. Ace, you you have anything you want to add? I don't think so. Just enjoying the uh, the circus here and the interview. Yeah, <laughs> Ace, our match is tomorrow, right? Remind it sure me. Sure is. It's like seven p.m. Uh, is that what we said? I don't know. I think so. I'm going to take out all my anger and rage from this loss on you tomorrow, boy. Oh, God. All right, that's all right. I'm out of here. Yeah, good night, everyone. <laughs> thanks thanks for watching. Thanks, well, thanks again to our commentators, by the way. We didn't shout them out in the interview yet, but super appreciated catching things that we missed. And, uh, making you just said thanks to the commentators, by the way. You mean trackers. <laughs> trackers, yeah. Thanks Those to us. People. We did a great job, us. We're the best. I got uh, one more thing. Um, Gomo podcast, I think, is going to be out this Wednesday. Just give it a listen, by the way. All right, gonna, yeah. uh, and plenty more, right plenty more SG Live this week. Just uh, I think twenty four hour coverage on on some of the channels. So plenty of races. Uh, plenty more SMZ three. I think this is. I think this finalizes the top eight. So we'll have those for you the next week. So stay tuned for those. And uh, Ace, I'll let you have the, the last word then. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, we'll see you in the next match or series of matches for the tournament. Take care.